and i guess that more than what i gained out of that it made me realize that okay there is not not a lot that you can do beyond what you can do and also i did meet uh, sachin in 2000 uh, late 2010 or early 2011 and uh, was introduced to tisa group and then that's when a genuine appreciation for the kind of work being done and developed so those were uh, the times and then i started uh, attending uh, sgs and i also noticed that it was became more obvious the kind of struggle folks face and every time i used to practice coming out of sg i would feel more comfortable right and then uh, that feeling did last maybe it, it helped me get into the zone so this is this is an area so there were definitely a lot of cases every time i had attended an sg and came out it was like i was able to uh, see the image of the stereogram what i have just shown you at the start of uh, my presentation is a stereogram right and it takes a bit of effort to see the image which is underlying i mean which is there hidden inside the stereogram and every time i had the sg it was like hey i managed i got the trick of how i could see the image which is hidden inside and that's a very uh, i would relate that with how i was able, how uh, those who have you have managed to see the image in stereogram it was a very similar experience to that and once you manage to see the stereogram right then you go through the next 20 of them you would see them within no time right so i i mean that's that's the relation with what i made you do uh, uh, made you do with hey what i would have felt when i came out of an sg and and not just sg when i used to i mean sg used to help me more when i managed to do that but uh, especially when we structured it well i had more control then because i was driving it and uh, we had a small team so everyone would get opportunities we could ensure that folks follow uh, whatever we wanted to uh so uh that happened in the next 7 years and after which i think i have gained and after which uh for the last 6 7 years right i don't really think of stammering as much it's not that i don't stammer i do stammer right but i don't think of stammering as much uh partly because of uh, whatever i've gained during those 7 years where i had to go through uh, several experiences which helped me but uh, partly also because uh, there is as sachin keeps saying the acceptance and realization that hey let me not be blinded by this beam let it not be everything in my life right and i would have those situations and you would always probably have uh, maybe uh, a few days where it would impact you adversely and then you but those are not the days that you would probably have all the time and then you move on i mean that's uh, that's not something which will uh, uh, impact you as much as some of us probably look at experiences that we have through a magnifying lens and uh, probably they won't impact you as much and i also had several times the experience the luxury of asking my colleagues say how did they feel i mean a lot of times some of the colleagues said that they didn't notice that i was stammering maybe because i managed to hide it so well because i knew i was blocking even when and that they they, sh they should have noticed but uh, there were also situations uh, uh, there were folks who said that hey um, they thought I, i i did stutter they could notice it but that didn't impact how got the message so most of the times it was it was me who was the hurdle who was bothering me more than me bothering other people right in a lot of cases that's what i've realized right and there are some situations where i do, where i where i think uh, uh, which would forever be a struggle for me when when folks don't give you time and everyone tries to jump in at the same time and making a point it it would forever probably be a struggle for me and fortunately i i don't get into those situations as often and probably with i mean with ex, with uh, with more bonding you no know, folks give you time so i guess part fortunate part experience helps you in that so uh and one more thing which a question which i i occasionally have seen is that hey, did i ever lose an opportunity because of stuttering i don't think i was ever uh directly no the answer is no i never i don't think was given a shorthand because of my disability 
uh, may, partly because maybe it was not as seriously impacting my ability to communicate, but, but indirectly, it's quite possible that it did have an impact because it's you who choose what situations that you want to be in and what you don't want to be in. So it's quite possible that I may not have, I, 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 I have not volunteered and I guess I don't like them too. I'm not sure if I would have done anything different otherwise. But it is quite possible that hey, where I clearly feel uncomfortable doing something, I probably opted out of that and focused on where I could still make a difference. So that's my summary on a hey, what, what I've learned and the, the turning gears somewhere from 2003 to 2013, those seven to 10 years where I have probably uh, uh, gained whatever I had to gain, learned whatever I had to learn and, and, and probably learn to deal with whatever I am uh, from a stuttering standpoint, right? So moving on to the next topic on what helps. So how can I distill whatever I've gone through and what are the points that I can say, hey, these are the things that help, right? So let me go through a few things which I believe help. One of them is exposure, right? The more the amount of exposure to you have to the situations which trouble you, right? Whether you would probably be lucky if you have a boss who manages to push you into those situations, right? And, 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 and you've got to give it some time to see how you would get out of that. The exposure to the tricky, uncomfortable situation, the situations which you make, which make you feel uh, a, uh, where you are unsure, the more you put yourself or the more you manage to uh, mimic those situations and deal with them. And if an SSG helps you, that's great. But even otherwise, or if Toastmasters, I know that some people want, want to go and be a part of that. If that helps you in recreating that environment where you would get into trouble, and then you want to test yourself out or you want to gain control on yourself, more than whether you are blocking or not, whether you are fluent in the mind, whether whatever blocking that you are having, if it is not disturbing your stream of thoughts that you have in the mind. I think that's when, that's what you can look forward to gain. I mean, you may or may not, it may not be right to uh, put a goal as that, hey, you'd be fluent. But hey, if you are not blocking in the mind, doesn't affect your stream of thoughts, uh, that's what the goal that I would look forward to. So that is, one is exposure. And uh, second thing is experience. I mean, the, 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 number of situations you go through the lows, you feel good and bad, and one day you feel uh, you have done well, you feel good about it. Some days you feel bad, you feel bad about it. Everybody says that hey, you will always have good days and bad days. So let's let the bad days not take the attention from the good days. But I guess the challenge that I used to have uh, upfront was that it's always easy for the other person to say it, right? I mean, you have not experienced, as long as you don't experience those good days yourself, it's hard for you to uh, kind of believe sometimes in what the other person is saying. So you have to gain. That's where I think experience matters. You going through the highs and lows and you knowing that, hey, let me not be bothered as much. This is not a situation that I that would recur as often or I would probably not fare as badly in the same situation because I have not done like that in the past, right? And sometimes when you have that confidence, when you think of the good days, then that automatically gives you the confidence. You can, the next time you are going to be in a similar situation, you would not be as scared. You would not go with a premonition that, hey, it's going to be a, a bad thing. You would not have that premonition. You would, uh, you, would, you would go with a positivity and that often helps. If not every time, that helps quite a few times, right? So experience, the so second point that I'd say is experience, the first one being exposure. The third one is attitude, right? And this is something I don't think I have mastered, but I have seen other people master that. There are a lot of people uh, that I've seen who used to stammer. In my college, I've seen them. In my uh, life, I've seen them. They stammer, they stammer a lot more than I do, but that doesn't bother them. And the fact that it didn't bother them did not impact their career as much. I mean, I've, I would have probably never chosen sales. I mean, maybe not I'm that kind of a person, but probably sales also would have put more pressure on me from a speech standpoint. But I have seen folks choose sales and he used to stutter as badly as me or more, right? at least as badly as me. 
and that didn't stop him and i also uh, see some other folks one of one of the gentlemen in hyderabad sg mr sugand he uh, he has the same problem and uh, again let's not compare on the degree of the problem but i don't think it bothers him i think that attitude that you have you are probably you have to look yourself as one of the two things a one i don't care i'm going to do what i'm going to do right or a it's a battle i'm going to i'm going to fight and i'm going to lose i'm a fighter no matter what how many times i'm lose i'm going to not give up fight and pump yourself up this attitude i've seen people more than i am i always look up to them saying that hey because you are not giving a damn about whatever else happened because you know what once you are not you are, you you stop giving a damn right you are not building any sort of expectations you are not creating an artificial aura around yourself that a hey, you are you can get across without stuttering that that fear is gone when the fear is gone i don't think you are blocking in the mind you might block but you are not blocking in the mind and i am not sure these people that i have talked about they don't even bother that much about applying the techniques or improving i don't get a feeling maybe they do but i have not got the feeling that they bother as much i mean there are each of us have our own skin right they don't bother as much that this thing doesn't bother to them so maybe they don't show as much of an improvement purely from a speech standpoint but that doesn't block them i think the biggest factor that i have learned is that i don't mind blocking i want to free in the mind i want to be able to communicate what i want to communicate i don't care i mean yesterday i was i was i was watching uh, now for a brief while uh, donald trump versus joe biden uh, the debate right and joe biden is is what i what i uh, read of him is that he was a stutterer and do i did not see as much he mumbles maybe a little bit of a hint of that and maybe over time as as i feel i have uh, gained more control maybe he has to uh, but it was not about stuttering i mean the way i mean when you are mild when you are this thing and the other person keeps jumping on you keeps interrupting you it's hard i mean those are the i mean it's always hard to make your point so it's not just stuttering which which causes the blockage it's the environment that you are operating under which also kind of uh, creates those blocks and sometimes the situations are like that i mean even a fluent guy cannot cannot think straight and cannot make his point and our threshold is probably a little lower so we get into those situations uh, a bit more frequently than other folks do right but i mean the point on the third point that i want to make is that attitude i mean try and see right if you can if if that's what works for you if you can build this uh, kick ass attitude i don't care what happens hey i'm going to be like this i think that's the best thing that you can do everyone has their own uh, this thing of what works for them but for those people for whom it works i really admire and appreciate uh, such people so i would strongly encourage to see if that works for you guys that's the third thing attitude fourth thing preparation i think a lot of times i've told that it's it's the fluency of thoughts and that i gain by doing more research when somebody uh uh asks a question if i'm unsure and if i'm trying to fool him by saying something i'm searching for words I, i'm going to block a lot more and i'm going to feel very uncomfortable right so the more you prepare and preparation could be various things preparation could be maybe if you feel practice helps do that preparation is on the content preparation is on uh, content meaning the subject sorry content preparation being if you are using ad- audio visual aids and i used to find them extremely helpful whenever i know that i would block on something i would i would turn my face towards the slide and then i spurt out the word and go ahead with it and it won't look uncomfortable or uh, it won't look out of place and preparation where you do rehearsals you kind of present to your folks colleagues and then you have gone through that every time you prepare you feel better and this is not just for i mean uh uh not just for stammering i mean at times i guess uh, a lot of pws looks for look for a shortcut hey, i want to get it i have extremely fluent people prepare a lot and those masters when i did i did attend a few classes it was all about hey how how uh uh how how much they prepare how much i was asked to go through again and again and again by my mentor and 
able to kind of say exactly the kind of thing. So preparation is one thing which I feel makes a whole lot of difference. And prepare to be surprised. I'm, if you can, I mean, there were a lot of occasions where I came out elated because I, I mean, I was not sure if I would have managed it, but I did manage it. It was not that I had a prior experience of doing something like that, but I did manage that, right? And, uh, and uh, I never thought that I would be able to manage a customer uh, by myself, but I did manage that. So I guess trying to be positive, prepare to be surprised and try to be positive. And you would have days where you would be surprised. So you don't always have experience backing you to feel positive about something, right? So uh, that's another thing where, where when I can't, uh, relive that experience. I just don't try not to think. I do my exercises and then you go in there and, and as long as you feel that hey, you have some control and some way of how you want to deal with it, let's not think too much. The more you think, the more trouble you would have. Right? So try to be positive. Prepare to be surprised. And uh, finally, I guess acceptance. I mean, Every time you get into this situation, don't, 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 don't let it bother you. That's not the only thing that defines you. There are several aspects to yourself. Everyone has their disadvantages and handicaps. I've seen many fluent people, uh, fluent, uh, fluent in, in terms of uh, not having the stuttering disability, struggle to make their point. They just can't get their act together, uh, can't convey a stream of thought, especially, I mean, sometimes, quite often it is, if it is in an unfamiliar language where English is probably not a familiar language to folks and folks struggle. So it's not something which is only true to us. It's there and you are what you are. And probably I'm sure most of them, they don't bother as much as, as, as some of us do. So you would have your bad days. You probably, I'm not sure, maybe there are some lucky guys who would recover in all situations, but hey, a good number of folks among us are never going to be fully recovered. And uh, and and if you feel that hey, you should try something, try sooner than later. You better know hey, what the failure points are because the sooner you would master yourself because I don't think there is a, a holy grail where uh, you would you do something and you would come out absolutely fluent. Fluency, your goal, it's hard to attain. So I think that's where experience, exposure, putting yourself in all these positions, I, I guess, get you to that accepting stage where hey, you know that hey, this is, I'm going to be like this. I'm going, and it's not that you won't bother anytime. You would bother. I mean, you would feel bad. And, but that's also part of being, uh, part of accepting it because you are going to go through bad phases in life too. And you are going to go through some bad phases on account of stuttering and accepting even that, right? Uh, because this is not the only reason why you need to accept that. And you would have several situations where you need to accept that. So those are the areas that you can do that in my mind helps if I were to kind of filter them out. Exposure, experience, attitude, if you can manage it, prepare as much as you can and uh, prepare to be surprised, try to be positive and accept yourself no matter, no matter what it is, right? Only thing that I guess help from why, I mean, sometimes my colleagues used to ask if they can help. I guess as long as they have a little bit of empathy and they can give me my time, I guess that's all probably I would have asked them, asked from them. Okay, so what helps? That was the uh, fourth topic that I wanted to cover and probably I have given you my fist of what, what I feel, what helped me if I were to recount my past experience. And sometimes what also helped was that, I mean, my, my, my boss would cram in some 40 slides and want me to cover that in an hour. And that would put an enormous pressure on me and I would stutter invariably. So having control on that, if I'm comfortable presenting 15, 20 slides, I would cut it down to that. I would prepare so that I have to speak less so that I give myself more time so that I don't get into that zone where I get into constantly stuttering and breaking myself. So gaining control on the content, rehearsal helps, content preparation. So that's what helped me and that's what I hope would help some of you, at least in some situations, right? Now, purely coming from a career standpoint, the last section, maybe give me five minutes and hopefully I'll be done, right? 
a lot i mean i when i was running the ssg uh, we also used to face questions a lot of aspiring folks say the kind of challenges they would face in in the in the in the company uh, can they take up some position or not a lot of questions like that should they be taking up is that career right thing for them a lot of questions like that what i have noticed not as a not as a pws but my 24 25 years of experience is that and all these stories about unemployment thing i keep hearing right i mean and which is true i i i do get it there is such a dearth of talent such a shortage of talent today that it's not a joke right i mean if you if you if you want to be recognized as the top most guy in something maybe the the space is few and maybe you are not among majority of the folks uh, for whom that need not always be the but in general if you are saying that for most of the questions that i used to face i always used to feel that i mean when i keep interviewing the folks i mean there are occasions we do interview 50 folks 100 folks select two or three people and is it because our standard is so high no it's definitely not because that uh, the fact that our standard is high we are a startup so we are a little stingy and we can't we can't throw big bucks at smart people like amazon or google can right but 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 we in my opinion we offer uh, reasonable salaries uh, surely of the sorts which a wipro or uh, or a cognizant or a tcs would offer but it's so hard to find people and i don't think really i don't think that it's a function of your natural aptitude i think all of that can be cracked i feel that if you if you feel that hey, you have the determination to make something of your career and if you are willing to be reasonably disciplined not extremely disciplined there is such a dearth of talent that we have and when you think of how china is making progress or us the kind of technological innovation they do i feel we are we are, i mean there is so much to catch up and such a dearth of talent that it's not so don't always imagine that there is a gap there there is a gap there and i have not come across many people who would reject a guy just because he stutters i have not come across not just me uh, i have not come across many of my colleagues as long as i mean in fact because of the talent shortage being so so severe i think if you if you showcase yourself you always have an opportunity right that's point number 1 point number 2 is that let's accept that we have a weakness right and a lot of folks are you develop a strength of yourself to counter the weakness and you focus so much on the strength that folks want to take you despite your weakness even if you assume that your stamina is so bad that it may hurt you let it let's accept that it's a weakness right but let's try and develop a strength which can stand you in good stead despite the weakness and one thing that can help you which i'll uh, one thing which i feel uh, i should have known earlier is that sometimes folks uh, who are good especially in starting phase of career no we keep jumping and this thing uh, looking after great salary or something i think and a lot of folks have been troubled that day after about i mean at least i was in cognizant and when i i was actually seeing the tra- transition after about i mean you are always in demand in india especially in it uh, more in it i'm not so sure about other areas when you are under 10 years of why because you are cheap because you are cheap and you listen and after that uh, it's a challenge so unless you have something which can hold you in good stead despite your age you are going to have a challenge so don't focus as much on jumping but focus on a is that something where you are building your expertise in something because folks value after a while for your expertise you go to a doctor who has been specializing in some area for so long because you know that he has expertise of taking care of something you don't always go to a general physician you may go if it is a general problem but if he has a lot of experience or expertise so focus you let's accept that these are weakness let's try to find find a strength for ourselves that would hold us in good stead right the other thing is uh, often some sometimes ssg meetings are i am in sharing bad thing but trying to gain sympathy it's a part of acceptance don't try to gain sympathy i mean there are times we feel bad for ourselves self pity quite naturally happens i don't want i mean don't beat down up upon yourself every time that happens but let that not be a part of the game let's not seek sympathy okay uh, don't i mean often folks uh, i have also seen that a 
here's my resume. Can you give me an off? Okay, can you get employed? And I mean, uh, I wish I was in a situation like that where I could dole out offers like that, even when I genuinely felt in some cases, but not just related to stammering. Uh, I mean, uh, even in other cases where I thought that it was a genuine case, it's 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 not easy. I mean, smaller companies have some challenges. Bigger companies, you have less control and you don't want to flout the norms. So don't seek sympathy from others. If at all you want to seek something from other people, it's just that understand. Seek, seek understanding from them. Seek some time so that you can make your case. Don't seek sympathy from anybody. And I have, I mean, even when I faced a, when I was interviewing a, a, a PWS, I never uh, kind of gave them extra uh, rope because of their disability. I, I gave them time and I tried to empathize and I, I tried to I mean, do some, what do you call the slow chat or non-tense chat. But uh, I mean, af after all, I didn't ever looked down upon a guy because he was a PWS, but at the same time, I did not reward a guy or made an offer just because he's a PWS, right? So even if he, if I'm not doing it, I don't think anyone else would do that. So don't, don't try to seek sympathy. Seek their understanding at your best, right? Know your research and do your, I mean, I think one of the things that would help, I think the world is changing, right? As it is growing, I mean, now maybe pandemic is even more so, but even without that, right? What you need to learn is the you, 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 you need to learn the ability to learn because everything is changing, right? I mean, whatever you learn, I mean, I am from REC Warangal, right? The, but then what I see the content, some of what was being taught even today uh, is somewhat similar to what was taught 25 years ago. Not just that, the professors who have taught are a lot of them are same as what who were there 25 years ago. Now imagine these guys may have had good knowledge then but they are not updated. So if you only listen to them and feel that, you know, a lot, that's not adequate. You have to learn to learn. You have to know how to do your research. You have to figure out how to learn stuff because you need to learn something every day. That's the only way to kind of uh, 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 bank on a, a career that you are in control of, right? So uh, know, learn to learn, that's, that's the point. And uh, finally, I mean, one more thing is that, hey, again, sometimes uh, we all say that, hey, try, don't, uh, don't get bogged down. So, sometimes I also face a question that, okay, fine, I'm not, I'm uncomfortable, but I still go ahead and take up this. Should I, should I still go ahead and apply this? I don't know, I guess different people have different takes on this, but my own take is that, I mean, career is not a gamble. Don't gamble on it. If you are, if you feel uncomfortable with it, why would you gamble on that? Rather, if you want to make progress, make set yourself small, 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 small challenges and start gaining comfort on that. I always felt uncomfortable, completely gambling without feeling confident that I'd be able to do it. Maybe I'd be able to do it, but I don't want to gamble and figure that out, right? Unless you are certain that hey, the gamble, even if it doesn't work, you can either try another gamble or uh, uh, you can find something else to go ahead or if you knowing all of that if you still want to go ahead that's fine but but uh, uh, the question that i faced and my thing on that was that hey don't gamble if you feel make sure that you have to feel confident that you can live with it because every time i didn't have the comfort whether it is related to stuttering or non stuttering and i gambled without feeling that confidence it was like i didn't have the confidence i was looking forward to failure and i was a failure so those are, uh, that's, that's the final point. And finally, I mean, I guess we all have to look beyond stuttering, but to recount what is that we should be aiming for to, from a career standpoint, realize that there is such a shortage of talent that don't think that there is not an opportunity. There is a plenty of opportunity. Okay, that I can speak from my experience. Acknowledge, you can acknowledge if you want that you have a weakness but the way to beat it is not always looking after mastering this, but you try and build your strengths so significant that regardless of stuttering, you have, you have, a, you have, you have a case in favor of it, right? Third point, don't seek sympathy. Don't seek sympathy. If at all you want to seek something, seek their understanding, a little bit of empathy and seek some time, right? Fourth, Learn to learn. This is a constantly dynamic world. This is whether you are a PWS or not. 
you learn to learn constantly and continuously that's the only thing which will going forward especially if you have kids teach them the same thing that's the only thing that's going to stand you in good stead right and finally don't gamble if at all you have to make a career choice if that's my point of view take it with a pinch of salt don't gamble if you feel uncomfortable if you are imagining failure uh, you would if you are only if all that you are imagining is failure that's what you'd get so don't don't get into any situation if you can't if you can't feel positive or can't feel optimistic about the whole thing so those those are my my points that's all i have uh, to say thank you uh, thank you so much mr uh, raja um, i'm a uh, uh, bhupendra here uh, so uh, we are we are having some questions we got on the youtube live and in the chat so would you like to answer the question yeah okay great i didn't realize that's great okay let me just look at that here yeah. yeah 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 sure i will i, I will ask some like i will ask some questions on behalf of them like uh, uh, rithvik is asking regarding the interviews that uh, uh, how to handle the interviews uh, where you are expected to reply with some fluency so how to handle the interviews yeah so how to handle the interviews again i mean one is that if you feel that there is certain thing that you can do from a speech standpoint as well which can keep you in a better position in a good position always do that go an extra confidence to an interview right first of all on the speech front on your preparation front whatever it is you prepare that sometimes don't try to kind of hide stammering if you are if you are stammering because hiding is always going to make it difficult you are adding more pressure on yourself right uh so uh, i mean i have heard stories where uh, folks would go out and say that hey i do stutter i do stammer don't try to kind of hide stammering don't go with the notion that uh, uh hey if you manage to i mean stammering would impact your uh, chance of getting into unless you are looking for a, a world famous orator or something it's unlikely that stammering is going to hinder your chances or the fact that the knowledge of other person knowing that you are a stammerer in fact i mean i was quite interesting in 2013 or 14 when i was seeking a job there was a company in uh, delhi which hired me and they were doing all kinds of research and then uh, the question one of the question that i faced was that hey are you associated with tisa how badly you stutter and all of that so only thing from that is that hey folks know that at some stage or the other maybe they are already aware or maybe they know that don't try to hide stammering in fact you would be relieved if you if you can uh, uh, the the sooner the other guys aware that you are a stammerer the better <coughs> both are the things otherwise i mean focus not only on the stammering focus on your content prepare rehearse get into those situations familiarize yourself with those situations uh, more situations you face the better you are i mean the first time you would have so much of pressure same situation the next time the pressure level goes down it keeps going down you may not get it over level but at least it would come down from a uh, very high level to manageable level that's what probably you should yeah uh, thank you so much um, uh, for for the answer uh, like this one more question from mr mangesh nimonkar that uh, he is asking that sir i am uh, recently graduated and now i want to pursue mba can i take a job to improve my communication skills or not like he is asking that should he take a job uh, to do like uh, he he want to like first he should improve his communication skills or he should join a course like uh sorry can you come again he has done his mba or he is planning to do his mba uh, the the question is he want to pursue his mba uh so he is asking that uh, should he drop a year to work on on his communication skills or he should pursue the mba yeah. no don't I, my my recommendation is don't drop i mean this communication skills as in is it relating to stuttering or is it relating to general communication skills i want to my answer is no in both cases but the degree of it would vary depending upon where the question is yeah yeah i i uh, think he, like he he want to join some uh, course yeah, yeah. so if it is for stuttering the answer is a definite and loud no don't 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 ever uh, waste your time thinking that you would someday become uh, very fluent i think a lot of what you can do on stuttering front can be done despite or in addition to whatever course that you want to undertake and the sooner uh, i think you if at all anything hasten your journey so that whatever realization that you have you have sooner than later 
so that you can live with yourself uh, uh, more at peace. And second thing is that I have never come across, even if it is unrelated to stuttering, right? It's it is communication skills, wasting an year or spending, not wasting or even if you had, if I treat as investing an year, purely for communication skills looks like an overreach to me. And that doesn't make, uh, that doesn't uh, sound a note in me. I think it's something that you should constantly work on. Uh, written, oral, read papers or whatever else you might want to do, do all of that stuff. Uh, but uh, I'd, I won't recommend that. Not with what I know. Hello. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I just like one like one last question I want to ask from you. Uh, it is from the Sumit Chauhan. Uh, sir, how to deal with the fear of stammering and assumption of mind that you are going to like uh, if we are going to a block to how to counter with that fear? Yeah. Right. So I guess there are several ways. Uh, uh, for countering the fear and knowing fully well that no technique is foolproof, right? You might still start at one is that if you can, the best thing is that becoming insensitive. I hear of this, uh, there's a book called uh, whatever, uh, In Search of Meaning, right? It's all about uh, a German doctor who is also a uh, psychologist or uh, something, psycho, psycho something, psychoanalyst or something. He's a doctor also. And then he was, uh, when uh, he was a Jewish guy, I guess he was put in the German, uh, whatever the prisons kind of a thing and all those stuff. His experiences, he was recounting in search of meaning. I mean, what makes it, what is the reason why some people continue to live and why some people continue, I mean, why some people give up so easily. So, I mean, unrelated to the core topic, you know, one of the points that he makes in his book also is that, and he takes the example of his stutterer. He says that, whatever you fear, no, that's what is more likely to happen. You might want to kind of balance that by trying to do exactly the opposite. He says that if you, if you have a fear that you might stutter, try going into a meeting wanting to stutter. You want to stutter. You want the other person to know that you are a stutterer. So let that come out. Look forward to that and see how it works. Experiment with that. I, I, I mean, I thought when I read that maybe I should, and I, I, I'm not sure I encountered many situations where, but I want to try that out too. I mean, I read that recently. So I guess it's countering the fear if practice helps do that, but whatever reduces the hesitation, the hindrance that you have in, in the mind, let the other guy know something. What happens? What the hell happens? I mean, if, if you stutter badly, then folks already know that you stutter. So what's the big deal? I mean, the rules of the game are slightly different for people who stutter more, who are overtly stuttering versus covert stutterers. Each, each group of guys have their own set of challenges. Uh, try to get get that the the sensitivity with respect to the stuttering. Ultimately, whatever we do, I mean, if you get that out with whatever and gain a little in confidence, I, that's what it is. Does it help? Does it? I hope that answers, but if it is not... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it, it answers the question. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, being here. I want, like... Uh, uh, Sachin, sir, uh, would you like to say something? Yeah. Sachin, sir, is also with us. Yeah. Um, I would like to thank Raja. And uh, I'm seeing him, up, seeing him after such a long gap. Rather, can you hear me? Offline. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Sachin. <laughs> Good to hear from you. Two or six. And uh, it's so nice. It's so nice to hear you uh, talking so you know so uh, so sanely, so wisely, because the Islamic community needs a lot of wisdom, not so much techniques, but a lot of wisdom of this kind. So I will not take more time. Uh, rather, thank you so much. I really loved every word which you said. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Sachin. You always are some person. Sir, I have a question to you. Back to Bhupendra. Yes, yes. My question is, uh, when I am trying to slow down my speaking, I am okay. I can uh, speak very fluently. But uh, when I am speaking in my own way, that is my original style, I may start. So which style I have to follow? 
This is a good question because I think I have uh, I have some view on that. So I also used to have uh, the challenge, right? And uh, and uh, uh, what I had, no, there were occasions when I I used to feel that okay, if I speak in this fashion, I would not stutter, but sometimes that style used to feel so unnatural that i would feel more uncomfortable speaking in that fashion than in my natural fashion right so there seems to be some value in that but we also have to see the downside of that so then a, a few times no i thought that i'm and listening to some good people as well experimented a little bit and i thought that there is a certain style in which i would not feel uncomfortable but it is definitely slower than how uh, i would have otherwise spoken so it's not what i am regularly used to speaking when i speak to my family or friends or something but it was i mean that style when i used to practice it was a hey, my style is something which i would definitely recommend other people to follow you know that that stressful style and i've seen some people pull it off some naturally fluent people talk like that and make their point but whether somebody else was using that style or not but i was able to kind of fit that style in and i was comfortable speaking like that so if that is a style that you feel comfortable and that you can carry on i think absolutely i mean i, I guess if that helps you anything that helps you i guess you got to experiment a bit okay sir my second question is uh, when i am talking to the stuttering people that is the participant in this group or the stuttering people then i can able to talk very fluently but when i speaking to under or the stranger people on a ticket counter on a train compartment i may likely to stutter what happened to me and what is the most probable solution right so i mean that's a that's one of the most i guess common characteristics of stuttering so that's a situation that is is more likely to make a stutter than anything else and i am not immune to that i am not immune to that as well but what helps sometimes so there are situations where i probably felt more comfortable doing that as compared to other situations so what helps sometimes is that i mean after an shg meeting no we used to have shg meeting go order jalebis and sometimes uh, after an shg meeting when there is a certain style that is embedded in my mind or certain practice behind my back i would feel more comfortable speaking that and still there are situations no i mean my biggest uh, nightmare uh, when i was living in uh, chennai uh, was i mean i am not a tamilian and uh, tamil and i don't have a great gift of learning languages easily especially when i am speaking in an unfamiliar language somehow and uh, my biggest fear was that if you want to get in a bus a crowded bus the conductor is is isn't the least patient guy of all and is uh, wandering through the crowds and you have to tell your station and i had a trouble saying uh, a word starting with m or n mama mandavelli was what i wanted to say and it was a struggle i started now sometimes i used to feel comfortable sometimes i struggled and then i guess sometimes i guess if it was me now i may still struggle and say that okay that's a bad day that happens with that situation so be it accept sometimes do something if it helps you i don't have i mean there is no magic potion some techniques work if i go through an sg and do that probably i would have more confidence that i can do it but i would still stutter in some situations okay uh, uh, thank you my thank third, you. third question did you, did you, did you listen uh, we can't take any more questions now because we have we already taken so many questions so i just want to to thank mr uh, uh, raja ji for joining us here and uh, uh, and and like we all learn so much from you thank you mr Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Arish, for for for, for everything and having me. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot, Raja, for enlightening us with your knowledge and with your wisdom. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Raja sir. Thank you. Okay. We move on to the next uh, session now, uh, which is uh, by Abhinav from Bangalore. so abhinav uh, i'll just uh, introduce abhinav briefly abhinav is a part of a bangalore shg and he has been uh, involved with tisa since 2012 uh, ever since he uh, joined the 
SAG and then he attended the uh, Kurg National Conference. And after that, uh, he has been uh, taking leadership roles. Uh, he is a IT professional and also a, a co-founder of his startup in Bangalore. And uh, he is also a, a member of the TISA core team. And uh, yeah, over to uh, Abhinav now. Abhinav, are you there? Yeah, hi, uh, Harish. Yeah, I am here. And I hope I am audible to all. Yes, you are. OK. Uh, I would, uh, uh, I will uh, request if, if I can be made a co-host uh, so that I can uh, share the screen. Great. OK. Yes. So sir. yeah. So, hi all, uh, such an awesome start to our NC by such an awesome uh, session by, uh, by Mr. Uh, Raja. I have heard a lot about him, though I haven't uh, met him, but hopefully in our upcoming meets or in our upcoming uh, conferences, I will, be, I will be able to spend some time uh, with him. Uh, yeah. Great. So, so when, uh, so uh, we are uh, basically, uh, basically, uh, 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 we are uh, planning for NC from last uh, uh, one month and a day before uh, yesterday when I was uh, finalizing the content of my talk, I was just uh, uh, figuring out on what all things, I mean, uh, we should speak or uh, what all things I should uh, share my uh, thoughts of since I am a part of the uh, family from last eight years. And I do want it to be, uh, be uh, meaningful for everyone so that at the end of it, we all will have some uh, useful uh, takeaways. So uh, I will, so I, so I had a, a conversation with, uh, with uh, one of the friend. Uh, I know her from long time and uh, I still uh, remember that uh, sometime in uh, last year, she asked me uh, something which, uh, which uh, kept me in uh, thinking mode for a day or two. So I uh, thought that, that, that if uh, the, uh, this is the uh, common uh, question which all of us as a, a PWS uh, uh, people have. So uh, we will uh, briefly uh, uh, talk about the secret uh, source of uh, what works. And uh, uh, before we start so uh, this uh, talk is uh, not about some enlightenment or uh, moksha or uh, salvation or uh, meditation so we will be uh, talking about some very uh, practical approaches uh, which me our friends at bangalore ssg and i have seen every uh, uh, most of the uh, successful uh, uh, pws i have seen i mean they all uh, uh, follow the same, I mean, trait. Yeah. So, um, uh, before we start, I think all of us are uh, comfortable in English. Uh, if not, if uh, some of us are not, I will, uh, I will uh, use uh, English and uh, Hindi uh, both. But I hope we all are okay with English. Uh, okay. So I'm assuming that, that we all are okay. So yeah, uh, some of us are uh, joining the joining the national uh, conference for the first time and not all of us may be very uh, familiar with what we do as a edge, uh, edge the organization, uh, edge, edge a uh, community. So, okay. So uh, I will just uh, cover in a uh, brief that, that who are we? Who are we as a uh, community? 
so uh, uh, can anyone uh, tell me about uh, this logo i mean if anyone has seen uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this logo anywhere anyone is it uh, debian logo uh, you, yeah so you are close here yeah. okay it's a, a logo of ubuntu uh, which is a part of uh, which is a part of the which is a part of the uh, the, the debian uh, family yeah so uh, this is pardon, the logo sir yeah. pardon please pardon please i am not listening this uh, what the logo is this yeah yeah i will uh, i will uh, share it again so uh, this is the uh, logo of ubuntu ubuntu is a very famous operating uh, system as i mean as you have uh, microsoft uh, 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 windows as a operating uh, system ubuntu is also uh, one of the very uh, famous operating uh, system so in uh, south african uh, language uh, which is uh, one of the language called uh, zulu in uh, south africa in uh, zulu ubuntu means i am because uh, you are it's a very uh, deep thought i mean when i heard about this african uh, phrase ubuntu i am uh, because uh, you are i was in uh, thinking of mode for uh, uh, for a uh, couple of hours so it's a very uh, nice uh, concept of uh, common uh, uh, common uh, uh, humanity it's like you and me both i mean i exist uh, because uh, you also exist i mean you and me both i mean uh, uh, yeah so uh, we are uh, we are uh, not alone it's a, a concept of uh, oneness so edge ubuntu is a very uh, famous open source uh, software we edge organization as a uh, community uh, uh, tisa the indian Standing association, uh, we uh, think of it as a open source uh, movement. It is open source uh, movement for anyone who is timer, and it is uh, it is started by uh, by uh, people who is timer, and the whole. idea of the uh, community is that that we want all of us anyone who streamers to have a better attitude in life through uh, uh, knowledge i mean uh, we can only have a better attitude for anything in life only if we have a knowledge about the the things uh, uh we are facing or the things uh, we are uh, we are doing in life so uh same like uh, ubuntu i am uh, because uh, you are in uh, tisa we have a uh, we have a, a punch line like uh, if you stammer you are you are you are not alone so we as a, a community as a small uh, our family we all are uh, there to help each other so as an as any open source uh, movement we also have some uh, core uh, principles some core uh, philosophy of which we all adhere to so uh, one of the uh, philosophy which we have is in in the world of open source they say free agent freedom i mean uh, you can uh, use 
open source uh, software as any way you uh, uh, want to. In the same way, everything uh, which we do at at Artisa it's available available uh, for uh, free. Anyone from any uh, country, any uh, location around the world, he can uh, come to our site, stammer uh, uh, dot in, and we and we will be able to find out all the information, all the uh, all the uh, uh, things which we do as a uh, community on stammer uh, dot in, and like any any open source uh, uh, software or any open source. Uh, movement. Uh, this uh, site is also being uh, maintained by a group of uh, volunteers. A, a second important uh, principle is that we have complete uh, uh, transparency. We don't have any false uh, promises like that one fine day when you will uh, wake up in the morning, you will achieve uh, moksha or uh, salvation and you will be free out of your Stamming? No. We don't uh, promote. I mean, we don't uh, guarantee of uh, of uh, uh, curing stamming. We only say that we, we, you uh, may not be able to uh, cure stamming, but you can of course uh, uh, of course uh, cure the stamming mindset. That's a uh, uh, that's a uh, uh, that's a uh, most important in life. Open uh, collaboration. Anyone can uh, pitch in any ideas. The same uh, conference which uh, we are, uh, are seeing here over the last uh, one uh, uh, one uh, month. Everyone has uh, pitched in the ideas, and we all uh, welcome the idea of everyone. We uh, don't have any. Hierarchy that uh, that if uh, Sachin or Harish uh, uh, being the uh, uh, coordinator, if they have said something, so it's like a uh, I mean yeah, it's like a, a rule book. No, we all are uh, free to uh, free to uh, in ideas and the uh, 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 flexibility. If you are not uh, comfortable with anything, what we are offering. Uh, feel free. Just see, uh, uh, just see uh, uh, whatever uh, works for you, and adapt it to uh, match uh, your, your, I mean, your needs. And if it is, uh, if it is uh, working for you, just uh, write a, I mean, blog post and uh, tell everyone that that it's uh, uh, working uh, for me. Why uh, uh, don't uh, you also uh, give it a shot? Uh, just like any open source uh, movement. And the uh, most important thing in the world of open source, we call it as vendor lock-in. Like if you are on uh, on uh, Microsoft, the uh, you will have to work on Internet Explorer. I mean, I mean now uh, you can also install other I mean, browsers. Yeah, but suppose if you are not happy with our uh, philosophy and you are unhappy about everything which we are uh, doing as a I mean, community, then you are always feel free to uh, follow your own path, the uh, path which uh, you think will work uh, for you. So so uh, that's the uh, uh, core uh, 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 core uh, philosophy we have at uh, TISA. So now let's uh, let's uh, come to our uh, presentation, our agenda of the session. So uh, last year, sometime in Feb, one of my friends she. Uh, Ask me that I am standing since a childhood. I am uh, fed up now, and just uh, tell me uh, one thing uh, which works. 
i mean uh, she was uh, so uh, frustrated with everything that out of uh, uh, frustrations uh, she asked me that i have i have experimented with everything with acceptance with uh, with the following uh, this technique or uh, speech therapy or this and that uh, tell me something which works at uh, that time i was uh, thinking of, of myself as uh, master shifu and uh, and for and i uh, thought that that someone has had uh, come to me as i mean panda and asking for master what is a uh, uh, secret sauce and uh, believe me if i had a, a secret sauce or a, a magic pill i would have immediately uh, said that oh you have standing why uh, don't you take one uh, one uh, one uh, one uh, 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 magic pill in the uh, uh, i mean morning and one at night uh, before uh, going to bed we all are uh, know that uh, we uh, uh, don't have any such uh, magic pill we had such uh magic pill then we were not uh having uh, this uh conference uh, right now so i took some time to answer her uh, probably i took a day or two and i answered her uh, based on uh, my experiences as a individual experiences which i had by uh, uh, talking to other uh, community uh, friends other uh, family friends i mean yeah so uh, so now we uh, know that that uh, there is no uh, magic pill then how can we cure the stammering uh, mindset not stammering i mean i was not able to uh cured my stammering in last uh, last uh, last uh, uh, 34 years sachin he was not able to uh, 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 cure his stammering in uh, 60 years so we uh, we cannot cure stammering but we of course uh, we can uh, uh, we can cure the stammering uh, mindset so if you have anything i want to uh, uh, make it interactive uh, so if you have anything feel uh, 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 free to ask me uh, 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 ask me questions over the chat so we all know about uh, law and the uh, the the king of uh, jungle right and in uh, sanskrit we have a very a uh, beautiful uh, uh shloka sh uh, shlok and i uh, personally i love this uh, shlok a lot and it uh, means that in a uh, jungle uh, there is no official uh, ceremony held to uh, declare lion the uh, king of jungle he uh, does not uh, go to uh, i mean i mean yeah i mean a uh, tiger or to elephant or to a monkey or to a snake that that i want to be uh, i want to be the uh, king of jungle and you have to you have to vote uh, for me to uh, become uh, king of jungle no he just uh, he just uh, he just uh, he just uh, Uh, becomes the uh, king uh, by its own attributes and heroic actions. शेर कभी कभी भी किसी से ये नहीं बोलता है कि मैं तुम्हारा राजा बनना चाहता हूँ। वो बस बन जाता है अपनी इंडिविजुअल क्वालिटी और एक्शन से। So Uh, this is uh, one of the shlok which i like a lot in uh, sanskrit and of course in our upanishads and other 
uh, I mean, uh, I mean, books. Uh, we have uh, uh, many such, uh, many such uh, nuggets of uh, wisdom. So, if you stammer or if they stammer, we can only help ourselves. Uh, edge, edge, uh, loan help himself. Uh, there's no other uh, way out. I mean, as per uh, as per the experiences which I have in life. I mean, apart from you, no one else uh, uh, will be able to help you out with standing. So, the only things, only thing which had worked for me and uh, the uh, friends we have in our uh, family is uh, coming out of the uh, uh, comfort zone. So, I uh, don't don't uh, want it to be uh, uh, a philosophical uh, question that uh, coming out of your uh, comfort zone and how do we uh, come out of uh, our comfort zone. So we have some uh, some uh, practical guides on how I have come out of uh, uh, my uh, uh, comfort zone and other uh, friends in the family. For anyone who uh, does not know about the MOOC, so at uh, TISA we have our own course. And uh, this uh, course is a, uh, a series of steps uh, using which you will be able to come out of your uh, uh, comfort zone. We will have to uh, follow a lot of activities. And it's a, a very uh, good starting point, I will say it's a, a fundamental, it's a, a level uh, 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 zero to come out of your uh, comfort zone and start understanding your stammering in uh, deep. So as and when we will uh, perform the activities in the, in the, uh, in the uh, course, we all will be able to learn many hidden things about our standing. So, and it's absolutely uh, free, like free agent freedom. Uh, we all can uh, go to our uh, uh, our uh, move and it will uh, take us around a, a month or so to complete all the activities. But uh, believe me, uh, believe me that it's the a fundamental. I mean, it's it's a, a it's a fundamental step to come out of the uh, comfort zone. And all these activities, they are not easy. I mean, uh, 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 many of the uh, participants they just leave activities in the I mean, middle since it's uh, uh, challenging and it just uh, uh, makes them uncomfortable. Uh, okay. So anything which uh, makes you uncomfortable, uh, uh, that's the only way we can come out of our uh, comfort zone. After the uh, uh, I mean MOOC, just uh, join our official uh, telegram group. So in the uh, tele, tele uh, gram group, we all have our updates on the Hangout. So we all uh, conduct and go out on a uh, 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 on a uh, uh, daily and uh, weekly basis. <laughs> so in this hangout, we all will be able to uh, talk to uh, fellow uh, uh, friends, uh, share our experiences, uh, sh uh, share our struggles. So I have uh, seen that the uh, one of the thing which we have worked for uh, me is that that the more I have uh, talked about my 
struggles and my stumbling in the safe environment with all my uh, all my uh, friends at SSG. Uh, the uh, better I the I have uh, uh, become uh, 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 comfortable with uh, myself. So it's a uh, it's a basically a safe space where you, uh, you can share anything about your stumbling, about your life, about your struggles, and uh, and here uh, no one will uh, I mean yeah, no one will uh, will uh, judge you on how you speak or uh, you are uh, taking a. Uh, I mean, you are uh, taking so much uh, time to say something, or no one will, uh, no one will laugh at us. So it's a safe uh, practice pitch where you can go and uh, uh, you can uh, share your experiences without uh, being judged. Uh, that's the uh, most important thing. Like any, I mean, any. Uh, a sports a sports uh, person he will first uh, uh, first uh, practice a lot in the safe uh, comfortable environment uh, without uh, without uh, before uh, participating in any uh, uh, tournament right so yeah after this uh, if you have i mean we have a uh, so if uh, Possible, uh, you join the self help, uh, self help, uh, self help uh, a group in uh, your city. So we have a self help, uh, self help uh, a group in across all the uh, major uh, cities in India, and uh, just uh, joining the self help uh, group is not enough. You will have to uh, make sure that that we are. Attending it uh, regularly, at least uh, six months. Go there uh, for at least uh, six months. Be, uh, be a, 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 a part of all the activities. It's a, a same leg. Like if you want to, uh, I mean, if you want to uh, a date a, a girl, you will have to be uh, behind her for at least a few of months, right? So in the same way, we have to uh, make sure that that uh, we are attending SSG or the self help help self help uh, group uh, uh, regularly, so that we will be able to see at least some uh, uh, some uh, changes in our stumbling. Uh, a mindset, right? I uh, remember that when we started our uh, Bangalore uh, uh, self self help uh, group, everyone was like, uh, uh, everyone was like so, uh, I mean, passionate that we all uh, used to come to SSG every day, every uh, week for at least we all uh, uh, came for eighteen months. And we also some we also uh, changes which uh, we we have done some kind of a uh, any groundwork like we have attended the MOOC, attended hangouts, and started uh, going to. SSG. Now we'll have to do actual practice and the actual uh, it's a challenging uh, 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 part. So The, my uh, friend was. I have done everything. I have attended the MOOC. I have attended SSG. I have attended hangouts, and still I stammer. 
still i am i have i am uh, a paid off of, of the life i mean i am uh, not sure of, of what to do so after we have done everything the uh, concept is acceptance uh, there is a famous uh, uh, famous uh, quote by steve jobs that but already are naked uh, there is no uh, vision not to follow uh, your uh, your heart i know that i stay and i may not be able to uh, able to cure the stammering but i can definitely 100% uh, confident that that i can cure my stammering uh, mindset acceptance plays a very important uh, role we will have to accept that that yes i stammer it will make you at uh, a peace uh, with uh, yourself you uh, we do not have that uh, constant urge that that i will have to impress uh, someone by my uh, fluency which i am the which i can't i uh, know that i i am not uh, fluent uh, with my words so i stammer but i i am accepting it so that i am at uh, at uh, peace with uh, myself it's a very uh, it's a as a uh, concept it takes a lot of time so we will have to be uh, 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 we will have to be uh, patient it's uh, not like there it's a uh, uh, i mean we will uh, we will uh, we will we, uh, we will uh, get the uh, concept of acceptance in a day or two it's a Uh, it's a, a time uh, a taking process so uh, be a uh, patient okay aise kiya ki aaj maine accept kar liya ki i stammer and uh, tomorrow i had a very a bad day and you all say ki maine to accept kar liya tha ki main haklata hu lekin fir bhi mere mai kyun i mean yeah bye i am having a, a bad day. Day. so it uh, takes time and uh, this is the uh, i mean uh, this is the i mean yeah, a mantra or a uh, uh, secret sauce which i think uh, uh, it has helped uh, me a lot no one will uh, give you any opportunities where you will have to speak i mean why will someone uh, someone uh, uh, why will someone Uh, give you any opportunities to speak i mean we all want to show off i how uh, fluent we speak we all want to show off that how much uh, we know we all want to show off right uh, by the way of speaking or, or by the way of uh, communication so in your job or in your uh, i mean in personal life uh, 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 by the help some, someone will uh, give you the opportunities to speak right i mean uh, same like uh, i mean uh, same like uh, uh, same like uh, mr raja uh, said that, that be uh, don't have to show uh, sympathy that if if you will uh, give me opportunities to speak only then i will speak i will uh, 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 i will give a present uh, presentation so you may ask that oh i uh, stammer even my uh, boss uh, does not ask me to to ask me to uh, give uh, a presentation uh, believe me every organization your uh, boss or your oh, your manager they all have their own uh, own uh, selfish interest i mean i have a uh, uh, about for uh, uh, so long and now i uh, run my own startup 
and if uh, someone is saying that that he is not having any uh, selfish interest in the organization he is wrong everyone has his own uh, a selfish interest so your uh, boss uh, may not ask uh, you to uh, give uh, a presentation but you have heard it right you will have to find your own opportunities to speak you uh, you we have to uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, think of uh, a lawyer he uh, does not uh, go in front of everyone there that i uh, want to speak he will just snatch the opportunities he will uh, find the opportunities to speak uh, that's the uh, same thing which i have done the uh, same thing with which all around us i mean all the uh, all the uh, successful p ws have uh, are done that instead of uh, instead of asking for the opportunities we have go ahead we have abandoned and uh, found our own opportunities and how do we uh, find it out if you are in uh, uh, cities like uh, bangalore mumbai uh, delhi hyderabad or chennai we have something uh, park camp just uh, just uh, go there and speak on any uh, any a uh, topic uh, you are uh, comfortable with attend i mean meetups you speak on any a uh, topics any a uh, uh, topic attend uh, toastmasters join hackathons uh, conferences uh, seminars if you uh, want to speak there are lot of uh, i mean ways where we can uh, find out opportunities to speak uh, just that the only condition is that that you should have awesome uh, content you should be the master of your uh, your uh, domain in the same way as uh, as mr uh, raja has uh, said that, that if you have a uh, talent if you have uh, knowledge there are hell a uh, lot of jobs still in the market it uh, are respective of your experience in the uh, same way if you have uh, content if you have something to uh, share people will uh, will uh, will attend to your uh, talks your uh, topics no uh, matter if you speak or uh, uh, or share your uh, knowledge with stammer or without stammer so for uh, finding out the opportunities to speak we like make sure that we are we our uh, uh, content is uh, i mean good and we are the uh, 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 we are uh, master of our uh, subject okay But don't uh, go with uh, go with, uh, a standard uh, quality you will be uh, wasting uh, your time as well as the uh, time of everyone so, so, uh, make sure that you know the uh, subject uh, 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 you are uh, talking about uh, there is no alter uh, native to having uh, having authority on your uh, subject or your own uh, content and the one thing which is my uh, personal uh, favorite and it has helped me a lot is i mean if i have to uh, if i have to uh, if i have to uh, choose only uh, one thing i will just uh, just uh, just uh, just uh, go for my uh, personal uh, favorite it's like uh, perfection give your best to uh, uh, to uh, whatever uh, you do whether it's your work uh, your love Uh, uh, relationships ssg uh, conference uh, whatever uh, we are doing just give our our 
uh, person. It's a, uh, a secret sauce. I mean, when we uh, give our hundred uh, a percent to whatever uh, we do, the end outcome is always awesome. It's always uh, it will it will always uh, give us a lot of uh, uh, satisfaction, which uh, which uh, which uh, nothing else uh, can ever give. Uh, there is a uh, famous, uh, I mean, a line, and uh, with this, I will end my uh, session. So I was uh, reading a auto, uh, auto, uh, auto uh, biography of a uh, of a, a yogi, and. Asked his mother to achieving moksha. Oh, I the internet is bad. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, Buna. Yeah, please. Are you, you can go on. I was, um, I think Abhinav is facing some issues with the internet. Um, but I believe he has um, already shared the insight with us. So, uh, if there are any specific Q and A's for Abhinav, then we can um, reach out to him over chat. I believe. Okay, and with that, um, I was just um, the way Abhinav has shared his thoughts. I <laughs> the slides, the intriguing um, slides. Of course, we have learned. At least I have learned a, a way how to how to articulate my thoughts, how to um, portray my thoughts well in front of the audience. Um, so uh, th thanks to Abhinav. And uh, with, with that, we would uh, like to move on to our next speaker. Um, so we have another great speaker among us. Um, his name is Dr. Ravi Lot Lothlikar. Loth he is a speech pathologist. He is a he is also a PWS. So uh, with that, I would la la like to welcome Doctor Ravi to share his views. Ravi Lotli, ka ya. hello everyone. Uh, my laptop has just started to restart. What a wrong time to. Da do that. Can I get just two minutes to restart the laptop? My PPT is there, but before that, I would like to speak about uh, Tisa. Very sure. interesting work you are doing, and a special mention to a Mumbai grad called Nikhil Ayer. I always read his messages on WhatsApp, he posts videos, and he's almost a guy who wants to do something uh, about stammering. So hats off to you, Nikhil. And I will be presenting my PPT soon. Laptop is just starting. So my topic was about eye contact and assertiveness. One question to all of you. How many of you are actually maintaining eye contact in front of your laptop screens? It would be very less because we are very scared to see someone in the eyes of the eyes. There is a fear that I am not sure how to show the eyes of the eyes. That I stammer. 
and that is why this eye contact thing is very close to my heart agar hum ye ek point seek pae ta to i feel life badal jayegi sab and also assertiveness because people who stammer are very non assertive hame dar lagta hai kisi ko ha bolne ko kisi ko bura na lag jaye uske wajah se तो ये एक चीज है ये मैं टॉपिक के बारे में डिस्कस करने वाला हूं माय लैपटॉप हैज जस्ट स्टार्टेड सो गुड न्यूज आई विल बी जस्ट जॉइनिंग थ्रू दी लैपटॉप सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ फर्स्ट आई एम डॉक्टर रवि लोटली का पैथोलॉजिस्ट थर्टी वन इयर्स ऑफ एज Yes, बाल जाने के वजह से ज्यादा लगूंगा अराउंड फोर्टी बट आई एम थर्टी वन एंड स्टैमरिंग हैज अफेक्टेड मी ऑलवेज जैसे जब छोटा था तब से एक स्टैमरिंग ने बहुत तकलीफ दी है यार यू कैन नॉट टॉक आपको जो बोलना है बोल नहीं पाते कॉलेज इज माई रिमेंबर आई यूज टू प्रैक्टिस माई रोल कॉल मेडिकल कॉलेज 150 students and my roll number mein mani man bolta tha ki kaash aaj ka word sir nikal jaye kal ka kal dekh lunga so ye yes, stammering has totally uh, you would say really hurt me a lot but you know what there is always the silver lining and jaise ki tisa you are making sure that everybody knows what stammering awareness is and that is amazing especially in a country like india because in india mai aap jante ho hamesha ek problem hota hai hamari shaadi bhi hamare speech ke upar depend hai can you believe that <laughs> uh, so how to bring awareness in this country ki stammering bhai galat nahi hai aap stammer karte ho theek hai there's nothing wrong in you stammering but still people uh, judge you by your stammer so i'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that stammering should not be an issue for every indian this generation should be the last generation who have suffered the trauma of stuttering you know what happened in the next generation logon ko lagna chahiye yaar ye haklata hai to kya tu ash kar don't you think and luckily my zoom session has started and i have sent an invitation nikhil uh, hopefully you will be getting it yes sir i didn't get yet the invitation I just yes you are now connecting yeah yeah good what the invitation yes i'm meeting you yeah so guys am i audible now with the show of hands can you hear me guys yes sir yes so i will be sharing the ppt right away and my disable is showing host disable participant screen sharing so yes sir can i be allowed yeah yeah just 2 minutes i'll take care of it so before starting the ppt let's take a vow ये जनरेशन लास्ट होना चाहिए जो हमने बोलता है माय फ्रेंड्स ऑलवेज से यू नो मेरी चाइल्डहुड बहुत अच्छी थी आई वांट टू गो बैक आई नेवर फील लाइक दैट आई फील दिस दिस टाइम ऑफ माय लाइफ इज बेटर बिकॉज चाइल्डहुड में जो दर्द सह है ना नो बडी शुड फेस इट डोंट यू थिंक सो लेट्स ऑल टेक अवाव की स्टैमरिंग अवेयरनेस इतना करे एंड लेट एस टेक इट इन अ पॉजिटिव वे विच ऑल ऐसा कर रहे हैं एंड आई एम अमेज वर्ल्ड की सेकेंड मोस्ट लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन एंड ईसा इज डूइंग इट इट सो हैट्स ऑफ टू यू हम्म 
Ravi, I think you can uh, uh, share the yes, screen yes. now. You are the co-host. Yes. So Nikhil, can you see this screen of mine? Yes, Ravi. Yes. So it's called eye contact and assertiveness. Actually, topic uh, eye contact or assertiveness se bhot jada hai. It's more than dil ki baat, but I stammer on uh, eye or vowels. क्यों ना हेडिंग को ही मेरे फियर्ड वर्ड से दिखाऊं क्यों ना मेरे फियर्ड वर्ड्स को ही एक टॉपिक का हेडिंग बनाऊं इसलिए आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक आई कांटेक्ट एंड असर्टिवनेस एज माय मेन टॉपिक वन क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ डू यू फील व्हेन यू आर फेसिंग अ ब्लॉक एंड यू फील हेल्पलेस गेटिंग दैट वर्ड आउट जैसे आई रिमेंबर बीइंग अ डॉक्टर मुझे और तकलीफ होती है पेशेंस क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हैं मुझे पता है आंसर वाइवाज में और निकल ही नहीं रहा एवरी स्टूडेंट सब सिस्टर नर्सेस देख रहे पेशेंट पैनिक और मैं बोल ही नहीं रहा लोग सोच रहे होंगे अरे कैसा डॉक्टर कैसी डिग्री पा ली यार अब तो एक भी चीज नहीं बोल पा रहे हो तो हाउ डू यू फील क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ एस आई फेल्ट हेल्पलेस ऐसा लगता था कि भाई क्यों ये क्या पाप कर दिया मैंने पैनिक पैनिक तो ऐसे कि अरे जैसे किसी का खून करके बाहर निकल गया हूं इतना पैनिक जैसे कि मैंने कोई पाप कर दिया और पुलिस मेरे पीछे दैट टू सेकेंड्स मुझे वो फीलिंग देती थी शेम यार इतनी शर्म मुझे किसी पे नहीं आई जितने मुझे मेरे पे आई जब वो टू सेकेंड जब मैं बोल रहा हूं और एंशियसनेस मैं इतना एंशियस था कि आई यूज टू फील एंशियस इज माय नेचर ह्यूमन बींग्स का स्वभाव ही एंशियस होना कभी शांत महसूस ही नहीं किया क्योंकि घर से बाहर निकले ऑटो वाले को पूछने गया तो ऑटो वाला भी दो तीन मिनट रुकने को रेडी नहीं एज इन मुंबई नो बडी वेट्स टू थ्री रिक्शा पासिस बाय बिफोर आई टेल कि मुझे कहा जाना है तो एंशियस की विल पीपल वेट फॉर मी एंड यू नो वॉट यूज टू गो इन माई माइंड कैन यू सी दिस इमेज इट्स अ वेरी नाइस इमेज अ पर्सन सिटिंग ऑन अ कैमल इन अ ट्रैफिक जैम और उसके हाथ में फोन है बस यही मैं हूं जैसे कि पूरा ट्रैफिक जाम है सब बोल रहे हैं जल्दी बोल जल्दी बोल जल्दी बोल सबके पास गाड़ी है मेरे पास तो ऊंट है और वो भी फोन में देखे कितना नर्वस कितना एंशियस कि भाई मैं ये मुसीबत से कैसे निकलू हाउ टू रन आउट ऑफ दिस व्हाट गोज इन माय माइंड आई जस्ट डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू क्या करू यार इस सिचुएशन में कैसे बाहर आऊ मुझे नहीं रहना है इस सिचुएशन और लुकिंग एट मी इन वियर्ड वे अरे ये अजीब क्या है ये क्या बात कर रहा है ऐसा कोई बात करता है क्या और ये फेशियल ग्रिमेसिस क्या है इसकी मुंडी क्यों हिल रही है बोलते हुआ क्यों बो, 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 क्या कर रहा है ठीक तो है ना ऑल मे बी होंकिंग एट मी जैसे कार्स uh, होंग करते हैं एवरी वन इज होंग अरे जल्दी बोल यार जल्दी बोल maybe they won't be meaning like that but you know how my mind is how every pws mind is and the most important fear i don't think i belong here now this sentence uh, i would like to i would like everyone to listen i don't belong here mai ya is place pe belong nahi karta this is an intrinsic fear of every pws isliye hame itni insecurities hoti hai kyu hoti hai is it responsible of our society ki responsibility i don't think so 
सो so, ये हमारी पूर्वज की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल यू मे बी आस्किंग वाई सो द रीजन इज दिस वी ऑल वॉन्ट टू बिलोंग इट्स इन अंस in that picture i have shown a stone age man stone age era so everyone specializes in something and they are part of the herd if you are not good you won't be a part of that clan and if you are not a part of that clan you will be alone and you know what alone means in those times the chances of being attacked by animals are very high so you you have a very high chance of getting killed this fear hamare man mein deep hai ki hame belong karna hai hame baaki logon ki tarah banna hai hame society ko useful hona hai aur chahiye ki log hame pasand kare kyunki group mein rehna hai yaar group mein nahi rahenge to bahar ho jayenge koi janwar maar dega ye hamare man mein ghus gaya hai and that is why you must have noticed every pws wants to act ki wo है यार मैं मैं कहा हकलाता हूं आप टेन वर्ड्स हकलाओ फिर भी उसे दिखाना है कि नहीं मैं तो फ्लुएंट हूं बाय बिकॉज इट्स इन जीन्स एक इंट्रेंसिक पार्ट हमारे एवरी जनरेशन का हो चुका है दैट वी डोंट वांट टू डाई दैट फीलिंग ऑफ लेफ्ट आउट सो हाउ टू टैकल इट वेल पीसा हैज वेरियस टूल्स टू टैकल इट due to time constraints let us focus on just three tips there are many what about three tips let us discuss first is disclosures disclosures means main hakla hu ye bata dena you know what i stand up this is disclosure second is eye contact jaise maine bataya kitne log eye contact abhi bhi maintain kar rahe कोई लोग फोन में देख रहे होंगे कोई लोग इन्हें कंप्यूटर पे देख रहे होंगे कोई लोग अपना भी काम कर रहे होंगे बट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर एग्जैक्टली लुकिंग एट मी मेंटेनिंग आई कॉन्टैक्ट बिकॉज आई कॉन्टैक्ट ट्रस्ट मी इज वेरी स्केरी फॉर अ पर्सन हु स्टेटस थर्ड आता असर्टिवनेस यार अपने राइट्स के लिए लड़ना तो हमें आता ही नहीं और आ रहा है तो थैंक्स टू टी सा तो असर्टिवनेस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट disclosures akla hu par halka hu if i don't tell you that i stammer mujhe ek man mein pressure hoga ek acting jaisi karni padegi ek logon ko dikhana padega ki yaar main to acha hu fluent hu halka nahi feel hoga always distension i remember uh, my friends My school friends, my buddies, they know I stutter, but मैंने कभी उनको बताया नहीं कि मैं किससे गुजर रहा हूं यू वोट बिलीव गाइज आफ्टर टेन ईयर्स ऑफ अ फ्रेंडशिप मैंने उनसे शेयर किया देखो गाइज आपको पता है स्पीच प्रॉब्लम फाइव मिनट्स मैंने शेयर किया मैं एक एक पल में क्या पेन से गुजरता हूँ एंड दे आर माई दो आर माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स दे आर माई बडीज दे वो शॉक टू नो कि रवि तू इतना सब से गुजरता है तूने बताया नहीं यार माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स I would say even my close relatives, my family members may not be knowing what pain I went through because I deeply believe this. Those who are fluent can never understand the pain of a stutterer because they have not gone through it. They have not gone through the cycle where you actually stutter. So disclosures is a very difficult thing. It is the most beneficial. Or how to do it? Tell them. Tell them. Explain it to them. और ये नहीं बताना है कि मैं हकला हूं तो मेरी जिंदगी डिफिकल्ट है नहीं आई स्टैम आई एम डूइंग एवरीथिंग आई कैन टू ओवरकम इट आई एम डूइंग एवरीथिंग आई कैन मैं मेरी लाइफ बेटर करूं और जो बाकी के पीडब्ल्यू से उनकी लाइफ ऑसम बना दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव टू टेल देम देयर इज दिस प्रोवर्ब एड्रेस द एलिफेंट इन द रूम इट मींस अ बिग टॉपिक है रूम पर सबको पता है पर कोई डिस्कस नहीं कर रहा ऐसी गंभीर इशू है जो सबको बात करनी चाहिए बट सब चुपचाप है जैसे अपने भाई साहब पिक्चर में है अपनी गर्लफ्रेंड के साथ डिनर कर रहे हैं एलिफेंट है यानी कि उसके लिए एलिफेंट इज स्टैमरिंग वो हकलाता है लेकिन उसे बताना नहीं है उसे छुपाना है बात 
और ये हर पूरे डिनर के दो घंटे टेंशन में ही बिताएगा कि अरे ये सामने वाली को पता ना चले इम्प्रेशन खराब हो जाएगा हाउ डिफिकल्ट दिस इज फॉर एम फॉर एनी वन ऑल ऑफ अस सो एड्रेस दी एलिफेंट इन द रूम यार हकला हूं पर हल्का हूं पाप थोड़ी किया है मैंने बास खुलने वाला है गाइस कुछ भी कर लो एट योर वर्क प्लेस एंड कॉलेज दे आर गोइंग टू नो यू स्टैमर विद इन अ वीक ट्रस्ट मी आई गारंटी यू दैट वेदर यू लाइक इट और नॉट प्ले एट माय वर्क प्लेस बीइंग अ डॉक्टर आई हैव अ वेरी गुड रेपुटेशन कि अरे डॉक्टर साहब आ गए एंड एवरीबॉडी लिसंस टू मी उनको बताना गाइस कि मुझे हक आना है और मुझे नाम भी बोलने को कभी प्रॉब्लम होती है गाइस इतना टेंशन आया क्या बोलूं कैसे बताऊं बिकॉज़ अगर नहीं बताया तो चुपचाप जैसा रहना पड़ेगा चोरी छुपे जैसा ये पाप है मेरे हिसाब से पुट अ फोटो ऑफ अ पर्सन इन जेल डोंट यू थिंक वी ऑल आर लाइक दैट वी डोंट शेयर दैट वी स्टैम जेल ही तो है नहीं बता रहे चुपचाप रह रहे किसी को बताना नहीं है जेल है सिर्फ किसी को पता नहीं सिर्फ आपको पता है सो एट माई वर्क प्लेस मैंने क्या किया मेरा इतना बड़ा रेप्यूटेशन इतने बड़े डॉक्टर तो चुप चुप के एक एक से बात करता था और एक एक को डिस्कस करता था यू नो मुझे प्रॉब्लम है मुझे ना कभी कभी ये शब्द नहीं निकलता क्या मैं आपके साथ प्रैक्टिस करूं मेरे साथ वॉवल्स का प्रॉब्लम है जैसे थोड़े ब्लड टेस्ट होते हैं नाम नहीं निकल रहा है आपसे प्रैक्टिस करूं ट्रस्ट मी दे आर रिएक्शन वॉज स्पेक्टेक्यूलर दे वर लाइक हाँ सर आप प्रैक्टिस कीजिए ना ये क्या है आपको क्या होता है एक्सप्लेन इट टू देम एंड दे आर सो सपोर्टिव एंड द बेस्ट थिंग इज अभी मैं अपने चेयर के डेस्क आराम से बैठ सकता हूँ मुझे कोई छुपाने की जरूरत नहीं मुझे हमेशा डर था लोगों को बताऊं तो मेरा ईगो खराब हो जाएगा मेरा ईगो अरे जो मैं बिल्ड किया है वो डैमेज होगा नहीं पीपल लव यू फॉर बीइंग ऑनेस्ट ऑनेस्ट इज वंडरफुल गाइस लेट्स डू दैट एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू आपके जो बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स है उनको एक बार बताइए व्हाट यू गो थ्रू येस यू स्टैम वो पता है उनको उनको पता ही चलेगा बट वॉट यू गो थ्रू आपने बताया उनको वो बताना बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज इन दैट्स ऑनेस्टी मैंने चतुर का फोटो डाला है क्योंकि चतुर का फेवरेट डायलॉग है सबको पता है लेकिन दिखाता कोई नहीं टू एट योर वर्क प्लेस कॉलेज स्कूल बेस्ट फ्रेंड का सर्कल सबको मन में पता है आपको स्पीच का प्रॉब्लम है क्या है पता नहीं कोई बताएगा नहीं क्योंकि दे सी द स्ट्रगल ऑन योर फेस एज अ साइन ऑफ मेच्योरिटी दे डोंट शेयर सो वाई नॉट टेल देन ये अवेयरनेस जनरेशन टाइम है दिस इज अमरिंग अवेयरनेस जनरेशन दिस जनरेशन विल चेंज द नेक्स्ट फाइव जनरेशन Thanks to Tisa, we will let everyone know. अरे हकलाता हूँ तो क्या यार? क्या बात है उसको? Next generation should never go through what we have gone through, and that can only happen sharing with them. अखों में आँखें डाल सीख ले. ये गाने ने मेरी life बदल दी, because इससे बहुत सबक मुझे पता चला. Do you guys remember the last time you maintained eye contact while you were still struggling with speech? I don't remember. ऐसे मुझे एक word पे block आ रहा है मैं हर जगह देखूँगा लेकिन वो person के eyes में नहीं देखा. अगर कोई है जिसने stammering के वक्त ऐसा stammer करते वक्त eye contact maintain किया hats off to that guy because I never have that guts to do that. is maintaining eye contact challenging for me it is oh. one of the main reasons is we are afraid to see the expression of listener's face are usko kya chehra banata hoga mera impression ka kya what about my impression tu main itna mehnat se bana raha hu mera impression tootega yaar you cannot see and trust me guys if you don't maintain eye contact you will stammer because stammering is nothing but holding back to hold back when you stammer aapko batana nahi hai isliye aap hakla rahe ho the word is not coming out because aap hold back kar rahe ho or stammering is nothing but holding back and maintaining eye contact is seeing your fear face to face so moment aap decide karte ho ki eye contact rakhunga chahe haklata hu ki nahi you will realize one thing your speech will become more better आपने कभी विराट कोहली को देखा है एक विकेट ऑस्ट्रेलियन घिरी और वो बंदा चुपचाप बैठा है आई डोंट थिंक दैट्स पॉसिबल 
Virat Kohli not expressing himself when a wicket falls is as impossible as a stutterer maintaining eye contact while stammering. And that's why we have to keep on practicing. So how to tackle it? Well, subeh uth ke ek hi cheez karna hai. Aakho me aake dal seat le. Maintain eye contact no matter whatever the situation. How to do that? Really practicing maintaining eye contact, looking in front of the mirror. Ten minutes, just eye to eye contact, concentration ke saath. Aapka man bhatke ga, vapas eye contact. Man bhatke ga, vapas eye contact. What it does is it makes you more assertive. It makes you more confident. Not maintaining eye contact is running away from the situation. Looking eye to eye is not running in the situation. It's facing it. Assertiveness. Yar, I remember a story. One person who was very known. He was sabse paise leta hai. I was told, usko paise mat dena. That person comes to me and says, sir, paas so rupee do na. I immediately give him five rupees. Why? Because I'm non-assertive. Why do you want to fight for your rights? You have to lose your rights. But you have to be assertive. Nahi rehna. Because I don't know. I think stammerers are the most sensitive people I've ever met. They have a lot of sympathy. Rehti hai I think stammerers can change the world because they are very sensitive. They understand people's feeling very well. They know what we go through. They know every person's pain. It's a gift. And you all blessed to have that have that gift. So, हमें ये gift मिला है. इसका एक problem भी है. हम ना को ज़्यादा ही सीधे हो जाते हैं. Like I mentioned in the slide, PWS always tend to give other person more importance, even on occasions which is not beneficial for them. For example, I could have easily told him, I cannot give you. मनी बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव इट और मुझे नहीं देना या मेरे पास नहीं है कुछ भी खराब नहीं बनना चाहता था और एक चीज जब हम बता दे कि एक्शन ले लो भी असर्टिव पीडब्ल्यू एस उसे एग्रेशन सोचते जैसे कि चिल्लाना जैसे कि गुस्से में बात करना नो असर्टिवनेस इज नॉट एग्रेसिवनेस एग्रेसिवनेस इज स्टेप ऑन यू जैसे कि आपका भी जो है मुझे दे दो नहीं पैसे वेज आप मेरे साथ जो भी कर लो मुझे चलेगा जैसे पांच सौ रुपए चाहिए ले ले बेटा असर्टिवनेस इज बोथ आप प्रोटेक्टेड मैं बताऊं कि नहीं आई कैन नॉट गिव यू आप चाहे तो किसी और को मांग लीजिए दैट वुड हैव बीन अ परफेक्ट थिंग फॉर मी टू डू सो असर्टिवनेस चेंजेस लाइफ बिकॉज अगेन आई रिपीट स्टैमरिंग इज नथिंग बट होल्डिंग बैक आप पीछे हटोगे आप हकलाओगे आप असर्टिव बनोगे आपकी वॉइस में असर्टिवनेस होगा is very less chance of you to stand aur ye hamare ek basic question kisi ko kharab laga to i feel every person who stammers has his only one point in his mind kisi ko kharab nahi lagna chahiye jaise ki ek very nice picture maine dala ek male female ko puchta hai are you assertive she says uh, what do you think this clearly describes our life isn't it We are not assertive, and we should try to be more assertive so that others don't manipulate us. Assertiveness is a nice balance of what you want and what others want. Disclosures, eye contact, are just like any other tool. ये कैसे बेटर करें यार? How to make it better? Just by practicing, just like rugby players or American soccer players, continuously practice. How about daily practicing? How about daily 15 minutes eye contact in front of the mirror? How about every day? मुझे एक person को बताना है कि you know I stammer. मैं ये सब चीज कर रहा हूँ. मैंने TISA join किया है and it's wonderful. It has changed my life. You know, ऐसा होता है. Why don't you join me? Why don't we raise awareness? You know, one person every day. Why not disclose about your start? It will be amazing and assertiveness. Every day, one assertiveness ka kam karunga. Kuch bhi kam aaya, I should also think about my rights because you know what, the full right to be assertive. Just like any other tool, these tools also strengthen by practice. So practice, 
practice and practice. Other tools. This is the last slide. Many of you will be happy ki chalo, jaldi khatam ho hai. <laughs> So, first tool is meditation. Now, meditation changes lives, guys. I mean, aisi cheez hai jo real happiness deti hai. And this is not about just curing stammering or stammering ko face karna. It's about living a wonderful, happy life. And that can only come through meditation. Because meditation gives real happiness. Uh, meditation like Vipassana, those who have not done, I request you, please do it. More than stammering, your life will be very peaceful and very happy. Or we need that too, man. We don't like stammering because of suffering. But how about if we do meditation or suffering? Chale jaye? How wonderful would that be? So there are many meditation techniques which you would you can do. My personal preference, I would always go for Vipassana meditation. That is, you are blessed if you do that. One more thing, meditation will not cure your stammering. A very important step is don't go meditate thinking, Are my stammering will go. No, stammering will be a part of your life. But you can deal with it much better. Second is proactive approach. Chun chun ke marunga chun chun ke. All the people who are listening to me, have you ever made a list of words where you struggle with? Or decide that today I will say all words for 100 times and I will say all words for 100 times and I will say I am a big believer of Mahatma Gandhi. But this approach is not the Mahatma Gandhi, Subhash Chandra Bose, Bhagat Singh ka approach. So, go and 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 go. जैसे आपको अगर एक वर्ड है जैसे मुझे आई वर्ड पे फियर था आई कांटेक्ट तो मैंने जानबूझ के मेरा फियर वर्ड मेरा सेमिनार का टॉपिक आई कांटेक्ट रखा मैं चुन चुन के मार रहा हूँ एवरी डे मेक अ लिस्ट गाइस कि ये वर्ड से मुझे होता है तो जितना हो सके जब तक बोलते ही रहना स्टार्ट इन अ कॉन्वर्जेशन अगर आपका फियर्ड वर्ड कुछ भी विराट कोहली के विराट है तो अरे विराट क्या खेला यार अरे विराट ने कितने रन बनाए एवरी डे दैट फियर्ड वर्ड शुड बी सेट हंड्रेड टाइम्स एंड यू विल नोटिस सम मैजिक You will notice that feared word is not that fearful anymore. You have to do it every time, every time, every time. You have to kill it. Final point, doing various things very well. So I'm a pathologist, I told you. And I only know about pathology. The problem is this. If you ask me some different branch, you know about pathology. But remember yesterday, income tax return file, and CA was calling me. What is that? That's also. मुझे आर्ट्स का काम भी आना चाहिए मुझे खाना बनाना आने भी आना चाहिए मुझे स्विमिंग आनी चाहिए मुझे वॉकिंग आना चाहिए मुझे स्किपिंग आना चाहिए मुझे ये बल्डी थिंग्स के सारे चीजें अच्छे से आने चाहिए ट्रस्ट मी मुझे आप कॉमर्स के बारे में कुछ भी पूछो आई विल बी ब्लैंक एंड दैट्स नॉट अ गुड थिंग बिकॉज मोमेंट दैट टॉपिक कम्स सिचुएशन कम्स वेर अ कॉमर्स जैसा फॉर एग्जाम्पल यस्टरडे सी से बात करना था आई वॉज नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट विथ माई स्पीच तो हाउ बट लर्निंग एवरी यार हमें क्यों सिखाते हैं कि डॉक्टर डॉक्टर ही बनेगा इंजीनियर इंजीनियर या सॉफ्टवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर वाला ही या एप डेवलपर सिर्फ एप डेवलपर आई कैंट बी एन एप डेवलपर आई कैंट आई बी अ गुड कारपेंटर जैसे मेरे घर में मेरी वाइफ वुड बी वेरी हैप्पी अगर मैं कारपेंटरी और कुकिंग सीख जाऊँ बिकॉज आई नो एवरी थिंग वेन यू नो वेरियस थिंग्स लाइक द पिक्चर आई मैं यू बी वेरी हैप्पी और आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा एंड दैट विल चेंज लाइफ Do it is not related to stuttering, but trust me, try doing that. Always learn one new thing, no matter whether वो आपके काम आएगा कि नहीं. जैसे कि drawing also. भले आपके कुछ काम में नहीं आने वाला, but trust me, you will notice and marked improvement in your speech doing drawing, which is not related. How amazing is that? अगर आप singing करोगे, आपका पता चलेगा speech better हो रहा है. Dance class करोगे, आपका speech better हो रहा है. आप सोचोगे अरे ये कैसे हो रहा है? आपका सेल्फ इमेज चेंज हो रहा है यू आर नाउ अरे आई एम दिस पर्सन मुझे सब कुछ आता है आई एम बेटर देन मोस्ट ऑफ देम एंड यू नो योर इंफ्योरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स गोज अवे सो डूइंग वेरियस थिंग्स इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट पॉइंट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो 
तो गाइस देर इज वन मोर स्लाइड एंड शायद प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है सो नथिंग टू वरी आई वुड लाइक टू एंड दिस सेशन सेइंग दैट देर इज नथिंग मोर ब्यूटीफुल एन अ पर्सन हु स्टार्टर्स डूइंग हिज बेस्ट लिव हिज लाइफ पॉजिटिवली आई मीन आई लव दैट व्हेन आई सी यू गाइस यू एक्सेप्ट इट एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू चेंज लाइफ मेरे लिए इससे ब्यूटीफुल चीज हो नहीं सकती so thank you so much guys for giving me an opportunity to speak on such a huge platform and i'm truly blessed abhi lotli ka thank you so much uh th- uh thank you dr rab rabi and uh, <laughs> you uh, re- really stole the show <laughs> and i am also tra- trying to learn how to make an i co contact wa- wa- while i am stammering and speaking to you and i'm sure that um, all of us would have learned so many things yeah yeah hello uh, thank you so much dr ravi this is harish here and uh, really wonderful presentation i loved the analogies especially uh, the uh, chun chun ke marunga one was the best one i will never forget it and i have put on my studio cam uh, so that i can maintain eye contact with you thank you so much yeah over to you jitin hello ravi ji सिंगल क्वेश्चन सो रवि जी इट वॉज so ravi ji i heard your speech it was very good and uh, the one question which i had was you had mentioned about practice and practice is the single most important uh, thing which we need to implement every day so in front of the mirror we can practice and i understand how it works but uh, when it comes to uh, uh, practicing in front of others how do we try and uh, maintain eye contact hi was the question audible um yeah i think it is audible but dr ravi he might be facing some internet issues because his screen seems to be frozen to me okay okay so uh, yeah even uh, the screen is frozen even yeah. for me hence i was kind of wondering right right so uh, what we can do is if you can post the uh, question in the in the chat then once he is back maybe he will be able to answer it sure thing i'll do that i'll just uh, message it on the chat box right. so that it becomes right. easier thank uh, you i think he has joined back okay now he has joined back just joined back really sorry that laptop again i laptop think everyone again. has been having internet issues ravi you are not an exception <laughs> uh, so you are so i heard your question that it is very difficult to maintain eye contact yes no indeed. so it is as in we can practice it in front of a mirror but when it comes to doing it with others it becomes kind of tricky and i don't know i at least i lose practice as in i don't uh, do the same thing when i'm doing speaking in front of a mirror versus speaking in front of someone else at least in terms of trying to uh, maintain my eye contact so specifically regarding eye contact how do we try and maintain eye contact when we are speaking in front of others that is the question sir very good question and a difficult one because it's difficult you know even fluent speakers if you observe they can't maintain eye contact even they are scared and hamare liye to baat hi kuch aur hai so how to go about it just by starting to practice in the mirror 15 minutes pehle 15 minutes 20 minutes 
एंड इवन वन सेकेंड अगर आपने आई कॉन्टैक्ट इन दी रियल वर्ल्ड प्रैक्टिस किया आई बिलीव दूज अचीवमेंट वो वन सेकेंड को टू सेकेंड में बदलिए थ्री सेकेंड में बदलिए Your question is, it is difficult. Yes, बहुत difficult है यार. When you're stammering or uh, eye contact maintain करना है, क्या बात कर रहे हो? But life change हो जाती है, because when you do that mirror practice of 15 minutes, somehow it rubs on you. आप real world में आपको easy हो जाता है. I आप practice करके देखिए. Will it be uh, time consuming? Yes. I think it will take at least a month to get at least 10 to 15 seconds of good eye pause. of good eye contact but life changes after that so it's difficult but not impossible and it's a must thank you sir it was really helpful i'll try and implement that in my life as well trying yes. to practice in front of a mirror and hopefully it will rub off when i speak to others yes yes do we have more questions स्केरियस्ट बहुत इजी है किसी के बाल को देखना नाक को देखना यू नो आई टू आई बिकॉज समहारी बहुत स्केरी है यार बहुत स्केरी है सो आई टू आई पहले बहुत लगता है पसीने छूटते हैं देन समहाउ यू रियलाइज ऑफ आई हैव रियलाइज आप फ्लूएंट स्पीकर से भी ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंट हो गए हो इन माय पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस एक्चुअली एक्चुअली actually what i want to say if i stare to some girls all all lady so she may uh, thinks that uh, this person is uh, not good yes if i, I stare about the lady or girls so, so they may seem that this person is uh, not a, a good person yes that is true because we have to maintain eye contact not eye staring स्टेरिंग इज आप आंखें खोल के देख रहे हो ऐसा एंड जब आप बोल रहे हो उसी टाइम रखना है देन टू सेकेंड पॉज लेके इधर उधर देखना है टू मेक देम श्योर दैट आप पूरा टाइम किसी ने आई कॉन्टेक्ट रखा है दैट इज ऑल्सो बैड मैनर्स अगर आप बोल ही रहे हो और मैं आपको देख रहा हूं सामने वाला डर जाएगा तो जस्ट लुक एट देम आप जो बोल रहे हो एक दो सेकेंड के लिए जब वो बोल रहे हो इधर उधर देखे देन वापस प्रैक्टिस कीजिए उन्हें नहीं पता चलना चाहिए कि आप आई कॉन्टेक्ट प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो आपको पता चलना चाहिए यस यस थैंक थैंक यू यू सो मच। डू वी हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग? नो आई डोंट सी एनीथिंग नाउ देयर। ओके ओके मे बी वी कैन टेक वन मोर क्वेश्चन बिफोर वी मूव आउट मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट श्योर I think Rahul is raising his hand. Rahul, you may ask your question, Rahul. I think we have Rahul and Af- Afzal also. Yes. Um, yeah. Anybody of you can unmute and uh, just speak out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> मेरा नाम अब्दुल खान है और हमारा आपसे ये क्वेश्चन है कि मैं जैसे मैं रोज तीसरे के सामने प्रैक्टिस करता हूँ आई कॉन्टेक्ट भी रहता है लेकिन अभी जैसे सर आपने बोला कि क्योंकि खाली अपने आप को देखना है मेरा क्वेश्चन है कि मैं मुझे अब अपना जो मैं इस चीज भी करता हूँ वो चीज करना है कि मुझे खाली अपने आप को देखना ही है डू वी हैव डॉक्टर रवि ऑनलाइन I think he's again having some problems. 
Avish, I think he's uh, uh, facing some issues, I think. Yes. Yes. So I think you can move on to our uh, next So, yeah. So what we can do is uh, we can just request Dr. Ravi to be in chat for some time and uh, take the questions. Uh, people having questions can just post it in the chat as we move on to oh. the next session. Okay. Sure. Over to you, Deepak. Yeah. Um, so um, we just heard the views, the insights from Dr. R Ravi. And now we have the next speaker with us who is from the uh, who is from uh, Bihar and he is pursuing BTEC in uh, civil engineering. So with that, I would like to uh, call upon um, Prince to share his thoughts. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yours, good. Prince. Yeah, very fine. Good morning, Aap sabhi ko. Good morning. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you very much for uh, inviting me. Uh, one minute. Uh, please allow me to share the screen. Uh, just two minutes. I'm doing it. Okay. <coughs> yeah, you can just check now. You should be able to share the screen. Yeah, right. Are you able to share? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I am able to share. Okay. At first, very good morning to all of you friends and Suprabhat and also very thanks to TISA National Conference Core Committee for giving me chance to speak here and to give my presentation and view myself. <clears throat> I think that uh, uh, it gave you more insight about the stuttering, a little experience, some of my techniques that I have used. So this is a first view. Up there, you will see that the jo first view, the cover page is just a rising sun. Through this, I want to say that uh, through this picture, I want to uh, show and give a message that Tisa is a such a, is like a sun who spread their rays to across the India to help the structure people to help the structure people and to give him optimism because ki bahut sare log aise hain jo ki stuttering ke wajah se depression aur tanav ke shikar ho jate hain mushkil waqton ka samna karna padta hai to tisa jo hai ek tarah se surya ki prakash ki tarah un logo ko aasa aasa de de raha hai un logo mein taakat bhar raha hai ek confidence paida kar raha hai और ये मुश्किल होता है हर किसी के लिए कि जब वो स्टार्टिंग के फेज में है एंड ही इज नॉट गेटिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम एनीवेयर अगर उसको सपोर्ट नहीं मिलता ही फेज टू मच इज टू आई 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 माय सेल्फ आल्सो फेस्ड उसे लगता है कि वो आइसोलेशन में हो जाए और उस समय अगर किसी का उसको सहारा मिलता है तो उसको बहुत बड़ी एक ताकत महसूस होती है उसको अपने आप में एक कॉन्फिडेंस एक आता है ठीक उसी प्रकार से जैसे सूरज की प्रकाश पृथ्वी को हर सुबह और भारतवर्ष को हर सुबह एक आशा के किरण पैदा करता है जैसे कि आज आप उठो और एक नया काम करो कुछ नया करो तो आई थिंक दिस इज अ मैसेज थ्रू दिस फर्स्ट पेज और फर्स्ट कवर पेज मूविंग ऑन दी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दैट स्टर्टरिंग वट इज स्टर्टरिंग बहुत लोग सोचते हैं कि स्टर्टरिंग क्या है और एंड कैसे होता है तो जस्ट आई फाउंड माई सेल्फ दैट स्टर्टरिंग हैज टू एस्पेक्ट वन इज द फिजिकल एस्पेक्ट जस्ट टेक दन हैज अ फिजिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड वन हैज द मेंटल एस्पेक्ट आई विल टॉक अबाउट बोथ ऑफ द एस्पेक्ट इन द फर्दर स्लाइड One minute. 
uh, stuttering. A stuttering, uh, what is a physical stuttering? What is the uh, physical step of the stuttering? So uh, mainly that is a blocking. Blocking have, I, I, I am trying to speak, but uh, when words are coming, it suddenly block ho ja hai. And at that time, I cannot be able to speak and just seeing a stretch uh, in the neck or this portion of this mouth. Okay. And sometimes also a disfluency in the speech. A disfluency means that uh, we are speaking and sometimes we get uh, one and two, uh, one or two words mixed to each other. And uh, words are not uh, very much clear. Uh, this is also, this can be experienced very easily. Blocking aati hai. हम काफी आसानी से काफी इजी वे में उसको देख सकते हैं और उसको एक्सपीरियंस कर सकते हैं। अगर डिस्प्लेंसी आती है उसको भी हम देख सकते हैं कि आई एम फेसिंग द इशू। एट द सेम टाइम बोबुलेटिंग इज़ आई थिंक द सम न्यू वर्ड्स। बोबुलेशन इज़ समथिंग दैट ए माइनर ब्लॉक, वेरी माइनर ब्लॉक। ब्लॉक माइट बी ऑफ़ फाइव सेकेंड, सिक्स सेकेंड, टेन सेकेंड, फिफ्टीन सेकेंड, दिस माइट बी ऑन द सिचुएशन। बट व्हेनेवर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द बॉबलेटिंग, तो ये एक दो सेकेंड का अगर ब्लॉक आता है, तो डेट इज़ कॉल्ड द बॉबलेटिंग। एक 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 दो 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 सेकेंड का आया, जस्ट इन द सेम so, this is physical aspect, the physical structuring. This can easily be experienced. Coming on the next slide, how we dissolve this physical structuring. I think we all of us know the bouncing, bouncing technique. That we just say one word to five times, if it's happening in the word, and after that, we have to clarify that. After that, pausing. Pausing just take a moment. Pausing is also a power. If you look at it, I was looking at one place, I was reading it. It was written that pausing is the power. So if I am facing the issue in speaking, then I will take the pause. I will take one and two second break in that. And thereafter, I will try to speak. Uske baad hum bolne ka koshis karenge. And that is good. Third one is a voluntary stuttering. Voluntary stuttering is nothing, but ye ek tarah ka hai ki puri force aa rahe hain aur hum us cheez ko that you may also experience. Prolongation is a one more. Prolongation, just lengthening of the words. If someone facing the issue of the physical stuttering, हम words को lengthen करके बोल सकते हैं, उसको stretch करके बात कर सकते हैं। And five one is slow talking. We just talk with with very calm. We just just talk with a very calm and relaxed manner. I think most of you and all of you are aware about this and. Their effect because uh, the book by Tisa Apna Hath Jagannath uh, elaborate about it in very good and very, uh, very in the good way. Kafi Acha se Wape elaborate kiya gaya in Sabi Chijoku, bouncing, pausing, voluntary stuttering, prolongation, slow talking. Uh, right. Uh, the, this is a hidden part of the stuttering, iceberg analogy. Uh, I think many uh, few of us are aware about this because it is a, a very popular uh, if you uh, read this. And iceberg analogy ka bohut jaga pe bhi use hota hai. Stuttering mein hum isko uh, is cheez se denote karte hain. Lekin agar iske bahar dekhe to companies bhi isko use karti hain. इसका मेन मोटो जो है वो यही है मेन मोटो इस दिस सम वेरी ह्यूज पार्ट इस द जस्ट जस्ट इनसाइड द वाटर वेरी ह्यूज पार्ट बहुत सारे जो पार्ट्स हैं वो पानी के अंदर हैं ये जो अगर हम आइस को देखें तो ये पानी के अंदर हैं बट ये जो ऊपर की ये ये जो है बर्फ जो है यही केवल दिखाई दे रहा है 
एंड ये दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है सपोज कि अगर यहां से कोई जहाज जा रहा है सीप इज गोइंग देन ही कैन ओनली सी दिस पार्ट ही दैट शिप डजेंट एबल टू सी दिस पार्ट विद देयर नेक डाइट जो भी पायलट होगा उसको ये दिखाई नहीं देगा तो अगर ये आइस जो ऊपर में जमा है इसके इसको सपोर्ट करने के लिए ये जो नीचे वाला पार्ट है ना ये बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है अगर ये पार्ट को अगर हम हटा दे ना ये जो नीचे वाला पार्ट है ये अपने आप कोलेप्स हो जाएगा ये जो आइस का जो पार्ट है ये इट इट सेल्फ कोलेप्स अगर हम इफ वी जस्ट रिमूव है दिस दिस हिडन पार्ट ऑफ द आइस अगर हम इसे हटा दिए तो ये अपने आप कोलेप्स हो जाएगा इन दी सेम और स्ट्रक्चरिंग के रिस्पेक्टिव में अगर हम बात करते हैं तो देर इज ए फियर डर होता है कहीं बात करने जाते हैं इफ यू गो टू टॉक हमारे अंदर बहुत ज्यादा डर होता है मैं बात करूं ना करूं लोग क्या सोचेंगे सेम ये तो हिडन पार्ट है सेम शर्मिंदगी व्यक्ति महसूस करता है या फिर स्ट्रक्चरिंग उन लोगों को ज्यादा होती है जो सेम फीलिंग के लोग होते हैं शर्म ज्यादा आता है एक्सप्रेसिंग प्रॉब्लम है खुद को एक्सप्रेस नहीं कर पा रहे हैं और अंदर ही अंदर घुटन सा है तो ये सेम गिल्ट अगर एक बार स्टर्टरिंग कर दिए ना तो ऐसा लगता है कि आई डन द क्राइम तो दैट इज ए थिंग हमको लगता है कि हम लोग दोषी हैं स्टर्टरिंग कर दिए इट मीन हमने क्राइम कर दिया जैसे कि सर लोग ने बोला जो प्रीवियस स्पीकर थे कि लगता है जस्ट वी डिडन द क्राइम और अब तो हमें लगता है कि यार मतलब शूट डाउन करके ही आए हैं तो हम पूरा जैसे कि पैनिक अटैक के बारे में सर बात कर रहे हैं तो ये गिल्ड का जो सिचुएशन है ना कि स्टटरिंग करने के बाद खुद को दोस्ती मानना यार मैं तो यार मैं तो बहुत बुरा कर दिया मैं तो स्ट्रक्चर हो गया यानी कि स्ट्रा यानी क्राइम कर दिया ये एनजाइटी घबराहट होती है जस्ट अगर हम किसी से टॉक करने जाते हैं कहीं मार्केट में जा रहे हैं तो वी ऑल्सो फेट फेस दी एनजाइटी अंदर ही अंदर जल्दी जल्दी करना है जल्दी जल्दी करना ये हेल्पलेसनेस ऐसा लगता है कोई दुनिया में है ही नहीं हेल्पलेसनेस और होपलेसनेस दोनों है ये होपलेसनेस है आशा नहीं रहता लगता है यार कल क्या होगा फ्यूचर में क्या होगा यार फ्यूचर में तो लगता है बहुत बुरा होगा स्टडर करते हैं तो ये होगा तो ये चीज होती है आइसोलेशन अकेलाप डिनाइल हम लोगों से खुद को डिनाई करना स्टार्ट कर देते हैं तो आई मीन टू से दैट अगर हम इन सारे चीजों को हटा दे इन सारे चीजों को अगर हम इम्प्रूवमेंट के थ्रू हटा दे तो ये स्टटरिंग का जो ये जो जो विजुअल पार्ट है जिसके बारे में हम बात किए वो अपने आप पे समाप्त हो जाएगा डेट विल बी इट सेल्फ क्लैप्स अगर ये हटा दे और एक चीज इसमें जानने वाली बात ये भी है कि ये हर आदमी में होता है डर हर आदमी में होता है शर्मिंदगी हल्का फुल्का हर आदमी में होता है कोई भी अगर गलत किया है तो खुद को थोड़ा थोड़ा दोषी महसूस करता है होपलेसनेस भी होता है एक एक्सटेंड तक एक नॉर्मल व्यक्ति में भी होता है आई ऑब्जर्व माई सेल्फ मैं अपने द्वारा खुद को बहुत लोगों से जब बात किया तो मैं इन सभी चीजों को देखा बट वट इज अट विद इज दैट इन इन द केस ऑफ दी डब्ल्यू एस इन द केस ऑफ दिंग पीपल इट इज ए सो ह्यूज हमारे अंदर काफी ज्यादा होता है एक जो नॉर्मल एक्सटेंट है उससे ज्यादा होता है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि ये ये मतलब एक नॉर्मल पीपल में नहीं होता है नॉर्मल पीपल को भी अगर अगर शेर के मांद में भेजा जाए तो नहीं जाएगा बिकॉज इज ए फियर ऑफ देयर लाइफ राइट तो ये चीजें हैं तो फियर हर किसी को होती है अगर कोई भी व्यक्ति गलत करता है तो उसको भी गिल्ट महसूस होता है लेकिन हमारे सिचुएशन में क्या है कि हम हम अगर कहीं ब्लॉक हो गए ना तो उसके चलते यहाँ पे हम गिल्ट महसूस करने लगेंगे राइट right. एंजाइटी जो भी है तो वो एक नॉर्मल पीपल में भी होता है आई माई सेल्फ फाउंड मेनी पीपल एंजाइटी के चलते ये दोनों ये है तो बेसिक माई फंडामेंटल थिंग दैट की हमें अगर इस पे अगर काम अगर हम करना स्टार्ट कर दिए ये जो नीचे वाली पार्ट है जो हमें दिखाई नहीं दे रही है तो ऑब्वियसली वी कैन एबल टू कोलेप्स द स्टट्री right uh, coming to the uh, next slide this is a chain reaction okay uh, the, this is a very important to understand how this work yeah yeah how this work this stuttering mindset aakhir kaise kaam karta hai ye chain reaction kaise hai 
जैसे कि हम लोग अभी आइसबर्ग एनालॉगी के बारे में बात किए तो उसमें सभी चीजें थी फियर एवॉयडेंस अनसर्टनिटी लो कॉन्फिडेंस बट ये काम कैसे करता है हमारे डिस्फ्लुएंसी को अगर करने में और हाउ इट हेल्प टू बी बिकम ए स्ट्रक्चर राइट सो अगर हम इस चेन रिएक्शन को समझ गए और अगर इससे हम अच्छे तरीके से ऑब्जर्व करने में कामयाब हो जाएंगे तो वी कैन बे ब्रेक द चेन रिएक्शन आई थिंक कि सभी ने केमिकल रिएक्शन को जरूर अपने लाइफ में पढ़ा होगा तो केमिकल रिएक्शन में क्या होता है कि अगर चेन ऑफ रिएक्शन है तो कहीं एक जगह पे हम कोई रिएजेंट डाल के या फिर कोई अलग से केमिकल सबस्टांस को ऐड करके उस रिएक्शन को हम स्टॉप कर देते हैं फर्दर गोइंग ऑन से तो अगर हम इस रिएक्शन के बारे में थोड़ा मोड़ा अवेयर है कैसे ये काम कर रहा है तो हम इस डिस्फ्लुएंसी को और स्ट्रक्चरिंग को इजिली ब्रेक कर सकते हैं तो जस्ट वी कमिंग ऑन दिस पॉइंट वट एपन डेट वी हैव द फियर हमें स्ट्रक्चरिंग की वजह से फियर होती है राइट right? और हम जैसे ही कहीं पे बोलने के लिए जाएंगे तो वी गेट अ फियर कि यार uh, हमें अंदर से डर पैदा होता है कि कहीं स्टर न कर जाए और उसके वजह से लो बॉडी लैंग्वेज होता है और लो बॉडी लैंग्वेज जैसे ही होगा तो हमारा कॉन्फिडेंस लो हो जाएगा हमारा जो खुद की जो विश्वास है वट इज ए कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंस इज एटी ऑफ डूइंग एनी थिंग कॉन्फिडेंस उसे बोलते हैं जब अपने आप को ये समझने लगते हैं कि हाँ मैं इस काम को कर सकता हूँ तो जैसे ही हमारे अंदर फियर आया हमारा बॉडी लैंग्वेज लो हो जाता है ये जो ये ये जो चेस्ट है ना ये ये अपने आप झुक जाता है जी ये ऐसे रहने के अपने आप नीचे चला जाएगा टोन लो हो जाएगा लो कॉन्फिडेंस टोन लो हो जाएगा और जब टोन हमारा जब लो होता है ना तो डिस्प्लुएंसी अपने आप हो जाता है ब्लड स्पीच आना चालू हो जाता है एंड इट इज नॉट इन देश ऑफ ओनली स्टर्टरिंग पीपल इट इज ऑल्सो इन देश ऑफ द नॉर्मल पीपल जिनकी टोन लो है और जिनका कॉन्फिडेंस लो है उनको डिस्प्लुएंस अकर हो सकता है राइट right? बट हमारे सिचुएशन में कुछ ज्यादा ही होता है इसकी इंटेंसिटी कुछ ज्यादा ही है नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एवॉयडेंस राइट वी जस्ट एवॉयड टू कमिंग इन टू कमिंग टू एनी ग्रुप हम इस चीज से अवॉयड करते हैं कि हम ग्रुप में जाए एंड वी जस्ट स्टे अवे फ्रॉम दी ग्रुप राइट सो so, uh, ऐसा क्या होता है कि इसके बाद हम फील इनकम्पिटेंट महसूस करने लगते हैं हमें लगता है कि यार वहां पे नहीं जा रहे हैं क्योंकि हम उसके लायक नहीं हैं बिकॉज आप उस कम्युनिटी में नहीं जाइएगा बिकॉज जिस जी जिस कम्युनिटी के हिसाब से आप खुद को नहीं मतलब जान पाते हैं या खुद को नहीं महसूस करते तो जैसे ही हमारे अंदर एवॉयडेंस आता है देर आफ्टर हम लोग अपने आप में एक असमर्थ असमर्थता को महसूस करने लगते हैं एंड जब ऐसा होता है तो फिर से हमारा लो बॉडी लैंग्वेज लो कॉन्फिडेंस लो टोन और फिर डिस्फ्लुएंसी हो सकता है कोई दिक्कत नहीं ये चेन रिएक्शन है आने वाले स्लाइड्स में मैं ये भी बात करूंगा कि इस चेन रिएक्शन को ब्रेक कैसे किया जाए सो डोंट वरी इफ यू आर थिंकिंग दैट आई एम ओनली शेयरिंग द चेन रिएक्शन एंड हाउ हाउ दिस ब्रेक द चेन रिएक्शन आई विल टॉक इन द इन द इन द फर्दर स्लाइड कमिंग टू दी टिमिड बिहेवियर टिमिड बिहेवियर मीन्स क्या अपने आप को कम समझते हैं छोटा समझते हैं वी थिंक अवर सेल्फ अबाउट दैट डरपोक टाइप के कि यार डर ज्यादा लगता है या फिर सेंसिटिव हम लोग ज्यादा हैं तो जैसे ही डर मन में पैदा होता है टिमिड एक टिमिड बिहेवियर आता है ना तो फिर से हमारा लो लो बॉडी लैंग्वेज लो कॉन्फिडेंस लो टोन डिस्फ्लुएंसी में आकर ये चेंज रिएक्शन फिर जैसे कि चालू हो जाता है जी अब आते हैं अनसर्टनिटी पे मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग क्या होता है ना कि हम लोग सोचते हैं यार फ्यूचर में क्या होगा कैसे होगा जीवन कैसा चलेगा मेनली अगर स्टूडेंट है तो पता नहीं जॉब होगा कि नहीं होगा और बहुत सारे अनसर्टनिटी है और इस अनसर्टनिटी को तब और बल मिल जाता है जब हम पास्ट में चले जाते हैं कि यार मैं तो वहां इंटरव्यू देने गया था लेकिन स्टटर कर गया आ, आ, मैं तो ये करने गया था लेकिन हुआ नहीं हो गई तो ये जब हम पास्ट में जाकर के इन चीजों को जब देखते हैं ना तो हमारे अंदर एक अनसर्टनिटी पैदा हो जाता है हम आइदर सिक्योर है या नहीं है जब ऐसा होता है तो फियर जनरेट हो जाता है कि यार डर पैदा हो जाता है कि यार क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा 
और जैसे ही डर पैदा होगा तो लो बॉडी लो कॉन्फिडेंस लो बॉडी लैंग्वेज टोन लो हो जाएगा टोन के बाद फिर डिस्फ्लुएंसी हो सकता है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है तो ये चेन रिएक्शन है अब आते हैं कभी कभी लो कॉन्फिडेंस भी हो जाते हैं कोई अगर काम किए तो उसमें लगता है कि यार मैं सौ परसेंट नहीं दे पाया या फिर मुझे लगता है कि यार मैं नहीं कर पाऊंगा कॉन्फिडेंस एक्चुअली है क्या वट इज द कॉन्फिडेंस थोड़ा सा इस चीज को थोड़ा हम समझते हैं कॉन्फिडेंस क्या अगर अगर हम एक काम को दस बार करते हैं और अगर दस बार उस काम को करने में सफल हो जाते हैं तो अगर अगले बार अगर ग्यारहवा बार अगर उस काम को मिलेगा ना तो हम बोलेंगे यस आई कैन डू इट अगर बाय द वे अगर इस काम को करने में हम दस में से पांच बार सफल हो जाते हैं तो हमको लगता है कि यार हो भी सकता है नहीं भी हो सकता इट इज ए मैटर ऑफ द कॉन्फिडेंस लेकिन यहाँ पे क्या है ना तो इस इसी चीज के बारे में फियर है फियर के बाद लोग शटिंग माइंड से अगर हमारा कॉन्फिडेंस लो हो गया चाहे किसी भी वजह से है या फिर स्ट्रेस है उसकी वजह से हमारा अगर कॉन्फिडेंस लो हो जाता है तो फिर से बॉडी लैंग्वेज डाउन हो जाएगा लो टोन हो जाएगा टोन जैसे ही लो होता है ना तो व्यक्ति की जो अंदर की जो ताकत है जो इम्बर्समेंट है वो समाप्त हो जाता है वो फिर सर्वाइवल मोड पर चला आता है लो टोन होने के बाद आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड द सर्वाइवल मोड जस्ट आई हैव टू लीव इन एनी वे तो लो टोन और फिर डिस्प्लेंसिव में है पर वन मोर दैट वॉकिंग फास्ट इट इज ए इट इज ए बिहेवियर ऑफ एलमोस्ट ऑल द पी डब्ल्यू एस हुई टॉक और मेरे साथ भी यही सिचुएशन था फास्ट चलने की तो आदत होती है हमें लगता है कि हम सब काम जल्दी कर लेंगे और जल्दी चलेंगे तो काम जल्दी हो जाएगा और वॉकिंग फास्ट करेंगे तो एंजाइटी ज्यादा होती है घबराहट ज्यादा होती है बिकॉज there is two aspect of the human beings one what i am doing and what and second is what our subconscious mind is understanding hamara jo andar ka jo jo power hai wo is cheez ko kaise samajh raha hai it might be difficult for you that ki aap isko thoda differentiate kar paaye agar aap self actualize utna nahi ho paaye ho but agar aisa hai ki agar aap jo bhi aapka agar hum walking fast karte hain तो हमारा सबकॉन्शियस माइंड और इनर कोर यही समझता है कि हमको जल्दी जल्दी कुछ काम को करना है एंड दैट अल्टीमेट गिफ्ट टू दी एंजाइटी वो एक एक तरह का घबराहट पैदा कर देता है और जब जब घबराहट जब पैदा होती है तो आ, हम जल्दी बोलने का कोशिश करते हैं वी वी ट्राई टू स्पीक फास्ट यार हमें तो आ, जल्दी बोल के यहाँ से निकलना है हमें तो जल्दी बोलना है तो जब स्पीक स्पीक फास्ट बोलेंगे तो मैं बोबुलेट यहाँ पर बोबुलेशन आम आम चीज चीज है और ये नॉर्मल पीपल को भी होता है दैट इज नॉट ओनली इन द केस ऑफ द स्टार्टिंग अगर ये ये चेन रिएक्शन हो तो होना तो एक एक जैसे कि नॉर्मल पीपल को होता को को भी होगा लेकिन कुछ कम होगा लेकिन हम लोग ज्यादा अवेयर है ज्यादा सेंसिटिव है तो आई थिंक हम लोग के साथ थोड़ा ज्यादा होता है और कोई भी व्यक्ति इवन इफ द नॉर्मल पीपल आर स्पीकिंग and they try to speak very fast there might be a probability of the mismatching of the words there there might be possibility they may feel bobulated they may feel blocked a possibility hai but uh, normal people doesn't claim it as a stutter <laughs> they to unko is pe dhyan nahi jata hai lekin kyunki hum apne aap ko stuttering mante hain to hamara dhyan focus se pakad ke baithe rehna hai तो इट माइट बी हैपीन और ये चेन रिएक्शन है फर्दर स्लाइड में एक दो स्लाइड के बाद ये आएगा कि चेन रिएक्शन को कैसे हम ब्रेक करें राइट सो कमिंग टू दी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड कुछ फैक्ट्स हैं दैट कि क्या स्टटर पीपल के साथ कैसे होती है और क्या है एंड ये दिस इज ऑल्सो माई पर्सनल Uh, experience it is also fact based on my personal experience as well as maine kuch psychotherapy or therapist ki book ko bhi refer kiya to i found myself with this fact kya hai ki highly emotional stutter people are highly emotional and uh, emotional emotional ka sense kya hai ki kisi bhi uh, agar koi situations hai <coughs> agar koi situations hai तो वहां पे कोई भावुक होने वाली स्थिति है तो तुरंत भावुक हो जाएंगे उनको इमोशनल हो इमोशनल हो जाएंगे हाँ उनको लगता है कि यार ये कैसे हो गया यार ऐसा तो नहीं होना चाहिए था एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ फीलिंग स्टार्ट टू कमिंग इन द माइंड एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज हाईली सेंसिटिव सेंसिटिव आई आई थिंक यू ऑल नो सेंसिटिव दैट की 
किसी भी चीज को लेकर के सेंसिटिव होना यानी कि रिएक्शन फास्ट करना आ, हम इसको ऐसे समझ सकते हैं कि आ, अगर हम गंजी पे हैं एक 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 मैं बुक जैसे कि रेफर कर रहा था तो अगर हम मतलब गंजी पे या फिर कुछ ऐसा चीज पहन के बाहर निकल रहे हैं बाय द वे अगर हमको चश्मा पहनने का आदत न, नहीं है और हमने काला चश्मा पहन के बाहर निकला तो हो सकता है कि नॉर्मल पीपल अगर कोई व्यक्ति हमें देख रहा हो या फिर अगर कोई व्यक्ति एक नॉर्मल पीपल को देख रहा हो तो नॉर्मल पीपल उस पर रिएक्ट नहीं करेगा उसको नोट डाउन नहीं करेगा लेकिन अगर अगर पी डब्ल्यू एस है जैसे कि आई माई सेल्फ अगर मैं बोलूँ तो मैं कुछ काला चश्मा पहन के निकल रहा हूँ और कुछ ऐसा चीज जो जो कि एक रिदम से हट के है तो अगर कोई हमारे ऊपर ऐसे भी देखता है ना कि भाई मतलब अगर चलते चलते भी कोई देख लिया तो हम लोग यही सोचते हैं कि यार वो तो मेरा चश्मा को देख रहा है आज तो पैटर्न को हमने बदला है इट मीन डेट कि अगर इन्वायरमेंट में या फिर कहीं पर भी हल्का सा भी अगर कहीं कुछ बदलाव आता है और अगर उस बदलाव के प्रति अगर हम तुरंत रिस्पॉन्ड कर जाते हैं तो डेट इज कॉल्ड दाईली सेंसिटिव हाँ और यही वजह है कि अगर हम एक वर्ड वर्ड पर भी स्टेटर होते हैं ना अगर एक वर्ड पर भी ब्लॉक हो जाते हैं तो हम तुरंत उसको नोट डाउन कर लेते हैं और उस पर सोचना फिर चालू कर देते हैं फील मोर एसेम्ड जैसे कि मैं पहले भी बोला आइसबर्ग में कि हम लोग सेम्ड ज्यादा महसूस करते हैं हम लोगों का यादत है कि शर्मिला स्वभाव के ज्यादा होते हैं स्टेटर पीपल ज्यादा होते हैं हाईली कॉम्पिटेंट इट इज वन जट आई फाउंड एल्सो इन माई सेल्फ एंड बहुत सारे लोगों में कि उन्हें तो जो पीपल स्टेटर होते हैं उनको ऐसा लगता है कि हर फील्ड में वो अच्छा करें परफेक्शन बहुत ज्यादा परफेक्शनिस्ट होते हैं कि यार मैं तो मुझे तो काफी एकदम एकदम परफेक्ट होना है आई हैव टू बी परफेक्ट और हाईली कम्पिटेंट मुझे तो टॉप ही आना है अगर एक दो चीज नीचे एक दो रैंक नीचे भी आ गए तो तो मुश्किल है तो ऐसा भी होता है कि अगर हम कहीं पे बात कर रहे हैं कहीं पे कुछ कम्युनिकेशन कर रहे हैं एक दो वर्ड्स पे अगर बबुलेट हो गए ना तो हमको लगता है कि यार मुझे तो फ्लुएंट ही बोलना है मुझे तो पूरी तरह से फ्लुएंट ही बोलना है मैं तो जब भी बोलूंगा फ्लुएंट ही बोलूंगा अदरवाइज अगर मैं स्टर किया तो मुझे प्रॉब्लम होगी तो ये हाईली कम्पिटेंट बाई नेचर होते हैं एंड वन मोर थिंग जस्ट आई जस्ट आई गॉट कि मैंने ये ऑब्जर्व किया है कि जो लोग भी स्टेटर बैकग्राउंड जो लोग भी स्टेटर होते हैं ना उनके अंदर ये इनहेरेंट क्वालिटी होती है अगर मैं जैसे कि मुझे मैं जब टेन इयर्स का था तो मेरे को लगा कि मैं स्टेटर हो रहा हूँ तो आई फाउंड माई सेल्फ दिस फोर क्वालिटीज विद इन मी एंड ये क्वालिटी और उस चीज को बुस्टअप करने का काम किया है राइट राइट नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट लाइफ देर इज ए वन मोर क्वेश्चन इन दी एवरी बॉडीज माइंड ये सवाल हर किसी के माइंड में होता है कि भाई मेरे को ही स्टटरिंग क्यों हुई और ये इस चीज से हर कोई फेस करते हैं कि कि यार स्टटरिंग जो है वो मुझे ही क्यों हुआ स्टटरिंग स्टटरिंग हुआ तो क्यों हुआ मैं मैंने ऐसा क्या किया था आई थिंक कि कुछ सम पीपल आल्सो वास्कड इन दिस सेशन और इन अनदर सेशन कि मुझे स्टटरिंग क्यों हुई और मैं मैं स्टटर कैसे बन गया मैं हकलाने कैसे लगा ये कम बेस हर किसी के दिमाग में आता है एक बार और फिर मैं स्टटरिंग करने लगा तो कैसे लग गया ये ये सवाल एक ही है कि मैं स्टटर क्यों करता हूँ स्टटरिंग मैंने कैसे हुआ बट इसको मन में लाने का थोड़ा तरीका अलग अलग है तो थोड़ा इसको समझने का कोशिश करते हैं हाउ दिस है सपोज डेट देर इज ए वाई हु इज जस्ट डिलीवरिंग हिज स्पीच हु इज डिलीवरिंग हिज स्पीच एंड ही गेट ब्लॉक चाइल्ड गिविंग स्पीच इन ब्लॉक उसको एक सर्ड इन ब्लॉक आ गया राइट right. और अब क्या हुआ कि ये अब क्लास में बैठा हुआ है जी और सोच रहा है कि यार मुझे ब्लॉक क्यों आ गया यार मैं तो उस वर्ड पे ब्लॉक कर गया क्लासमेट लोग क्या सोचेंगे टीचर्स क्या सोचेंगे 
अब रेदर देन कि ये नॉर्मल स्टूडेंट के जैसा इस क्लास में बैठ के एंजॉय करे क्लास को और बस मस्ती में रहे अब ये बैठ के सोचने लगा ये टेंस इसका फेस जो है आप देख सकते हैं कि ये टेंस हो गया गेटिंग टेंस क्या मुझे स्टटरिंग क्यों हुई अब फील चाइल्ड फीलिंग असेम्ड डूरिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन या या यू कैन सी कि अब जब अगले बार जब भी बोलने गया तो इसको ब्लॉकिंग आ गया ब्लॉकिंग गया तो इसको लगा कि यार आ, मैं तो कोई क्राइम कर दिया और चेहरे को इसने अपने आप को ढक लिया कि कोई मुझे देखे नहीं ताकि मैं आइसोलेशन के फीलिंग में रहूं अब ये क्या हुआ कि अब ये फिर उसके बाद आगे घर पे जाता है और आइसोलेट हो जाता है अब ये अपने ब्लॉकिंग के बारे में सोच रहा है डरा हुआ है और आइसोलेशन में चला गया और ऐसे करते करते स्टटर करना सीख गया I I I tell and I, I, I believe that uh, we are not a stutterer by birth. There is a certain phase which make us we learn us how to stutter. एक phase wise एक training है मैं बोलता हूँ कि stutter करना है ऐसा नहीं है लेकिन एक training है proper training मतलब होती है और वो training जब तब तक होती है जब तक हम stuttering को समझ न ले और ये ऐसा ही है ये तो एक छोटा सा example है कि ये क्लास में बच्चा बैठा हुआ है और ब्लॉकिंग के बारे में सोच रहा है अब ये यहाँ पर ही केवल ऐसा नहीं करेगा अगर ये बाजार में जाता है और कोई सामान खरीदना है तो वहां भी सोचेगा कि यार कहीं मैं सामान खरीदने में अटक गया तो लोग क्या सोचेंगे अब ये क्लास में से बाहर अगर बस में भी स्कूल बस में जा रहा है तो बोलने से अवॉइड करना चालू कर देगा और बोल सोचेगा कि यार मैं बोलू ही नहीं क्योंकि किसी को पता ही नहीं चलेगा जैसे कि सर ने बोला भी था जो प्रीवियस स्पीकर थे ऑनरेबल उन्होंने बोला भी था कि ऐसा होता कि कहीं कोई मुझे देख न ले कहीं जान न जाए और जब ऐसा करते हैं ना तो आई थिंक यू नो अबाउट द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड जस्ट लाइक द कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर हैव द सॉफ्टवेयर आवर बॉडी हैव अल्सो अ माइंड दैट इज सबकॉन्शियस माइंड दैट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर ऑफ द बॉडी तो हम अपने आप को ऐसा ट्रेन करते आ रहे थे करते आ रहे हैं राइट right? कि हमको स्टर्टरिंग कैसे करना है <coughs> ये एक फेज वाइज एक एक ट्रेनिंग है जिसमें कि हम खुद को ट्रेन करते हैं कि हमें स्टटर कैसे करना है और फिर धीरे धीरे हम स्टटर सीखते चले जाते हैं और डू टू दोपर गाइडेंस अन प्रोपर गाइडेंस अवेलेबल नहीं है अभी तो टीसा है टीसा इतने सारे प्लेटफॉर्म पे है तो बहुत लोगों को मजबूती मिल जाती है लेकिन ये भी फैक्ट है कि आ, एक, एक, एक गाँव के बच्चों के लिए एक जो बच्चा को टीसा के बारे में नहीं पता है उनको स्टैंड बाई करने में बहुत मुश्किल होती है हमें भी हुई थी मुझे भी बहुत हुई थी जब मैं अपने अपना जब मैं इंटरमीडिएट कर रहा था उसमें मुझे कोई फॉरम के बारे में नहीं पता था एंड एट दैट टाइम आई फील वेरी असैम्ड इन द क्लास एंड उसी समय यही सिचुएशन मेरे साथ भी होता है होता था जो मैं आपको अभी दिखा रहा हूँ और ये ऐसे करते करते ये सीख जाता है आफ्टर द थिंकिंग जस्ट सी कि आफ्टर थिंकिंग अबाउट द ब्लॉकिंग मेनी टाइम्स ही कन्वींस इज सब कंसियस माइंड इतने बार वो सोचता है ना कि भाई मैं स्टर कर रहा हूँ लोग क्या सोचेंगे कि अपने आप को ऐसा ट्रेन कर लेता है अगर आप फुल बैंड स्पीकर बनना चाहते हैं हाँ तो एक काम केवल करना होगा पहले जिस तरह से हम उस स्टटरिंग वाले पार्ट को पकड़ के मैग्नीफाई करना चालू किए थे जिस तरह से ये सोच रहा है ये बच्चा सोच रहा है उसी तरह से हम फुल बैंड पार्ट को याद करेंगे और स्माइल करेंगे और इवन इन द केस ऑफ द स्टटरिंग we get a smile we get a smile and we feel a very enthusiastic wahan pe ek utsah ka ek anubhav hona chahiye inside se aur jab hum bar bar jab hum good speaking experience ko jab sochenge to ultimately apne aap ko hum aisa train kar payenge ki hum ek acha speaker ban jaye right ye aisa train kar payenge okay uh, coming to i think you you got it uh, how the फेज ऑफ स्टिंग इज गो ऑन बिकॉज ये सवाल हर किसी के माइंड में होता था होता है मेरे माइंड में भी था राइट अब बात है सोल्यूशन पे जैसा कि मैं चेन रिएक्शन दैट हाउ दैट चेन रिएक्शन वो वर्क सोल्यूशन so, यही है कि अगर हमारा टोन लो हो जाता है तो टोन को हाई कर दे एकदम कस के बोले अगर हमें दुकान दुकान पे जाना है दुकान पे जाने से अगर मुझे डर हो रहा है कि भाई मुझे स्टटरिंग हो जाएगी नो इज टू आई एम एक्सेप्टिंग दैट स्टटरिंग एंड गो टू द 
दैट शॉप एंड वेब मुझे ये सामान दे दो मुझे ये सामान चाहिए जो भी सामान मांगना हो टोन को जैसे ही हाई करते हैं ना तो हमारे अंदर एक कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाता है बिकम मोर कॉन्फिडेंट राइट वी बिकम द मोर कॉन्फिडेंट राइट जैसे ही हम टोन को हाई करेंगे अगर हम अपने वॉकिंग uh, स्पीड को घटा दे पीपुल आर वेरी लेस अवेयर अबाउट दिस की uh, हम आवर इमोशंस इमोशंस कंट्रोल आवर इमोशंस हमारे चलने का जो गति है दौड़ने का जो गति है चलने का मेनली वो हमारा इमोशंस को डिसाइड करता है और जैसे ही जैसा कि मैं पिछले स्लाइड में बोला कि uh, जब हम फास्ट चलते हैं तो हमें एंजाइटी होती है उसी तरीके से अगर हम काम डाउन और स्लो वाक अगर हम करना चालू कर दिए तो हम खुद पे खुद काम हो जाएंगे ये एक इनर बॉडी का प्रिंसिपल है आई आल्सो यूटिलाइज दिस एक मैं एग्जांपल शेयर करना चाहूंगा जो कि रिसेंट डेज का है जब मैं सुबह में रनिंग के लिए जाता था आई फाउंड माई सेल्फ दैट आई वॉज वेरी एन एक्सियस आई वॉन्ट टू डू एनी फास्ट राइट एंड जब मैं काम जब मैं स्लो डाउन स्पीकिंग वॉकिंग करने जाता था जब मैं आराम से जब मैं चलता हूँ तो आई फील माई सेल्फ डेट आई बी कमिंग काम आप इसको ट्राई कर सकते हैं आप टोन को इंक्रीज करके थोड़ा देखिए क्या होता है इफेक्ट होती है आ, अपने आप पे एक एक कॉन्फिडेंस आएगा आ, स्लो आप वॉकिंग स्पीड को थोड़ा स्लो कर दे तो आप काम हो जाइएगा ऑटो सजेशन एंड एफर्मेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट because they, those who are the uh, facing a stuttering phase they they uh, they become very much uh, uh, surround themselves with the negative behavior negative thought and also the negative belief pattern criticizing behavior ki yaar main to ye nahi kar sakta mere se to ye aisa bhi nahi hoga wo bhi nahi hoga yahan bura hai wahan bura hai har cheez ke bare mein unke mind mein negative thought hi aate hain तो एट डेट टाइम में व्हाट एपेन अगर हम उसमें ऑटो सजेशन दें कि नहीं भाई वी थिंग्स फाइन नो इशू यू कैन डू दिस इन दैट वे अगर ऑटो सजेशन एंड एफर्मेशन हम दें राइट तो आई थिंक ये कि हम इसके थ्रू स्ट्रॉन्ग बनेंगे ऑप्टिमिस्टिक बनेंगे uh, एक आशा आ, आशा हमारे अंदर आएगी जो एक अनसर्टनिटी की जो भावना होती है अनसर्टनिटी की जो भावना होती है uh, तो दैट वो वो खत्म हो जाएगी और हम एक आशावादी बन जाएंगे अपने प्रति एक 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 मजबूत छवि वाले इंसान बनने में कामयाब होंगे तो ऑटो सजेशन एंड एफर्मेशन यू कैन चूज टू डू इट एट द नाइट या फिर एनी वेयर वेयर एवर यू आर फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम कभी भी अगर आप फ्री हैं तो आप आप ऐसा ऐसा कर सकते हैं कि Uh, अपने आप को सजेस्ट करें कि नहीं यू कैन डू इट नो यू आर वेरी वेल इवन तो अगर आप फियर महसूस करते हैं तो खुद को बोलिए नहीं कोई बात नहीं आई विल गो एंड फेस द स्ट्रचिंग नो इशू यू कैन टेल दिस और यू मे सी द इफेक्ट बिकॉज जब तक आप इसे ट्राई नहीं करेंगे तब तक इफेक्ट को uh, देखना थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाएगा कमिंग टू द्रॉन्ग मेंटल इमेज सेट यूर बॉडी एंड सीरियस Uh, I will talk uh, about the strong uh, create a strong mental image in the further slide. Uh, shake your body. Shake your body means what happened that कि अगर हमें stretching से surround अपने आप को हो रहे हैं या फिर हमें लगता है कि stretching आने वाली है अपने ऐसा होगा तो हमारा confidence जब low होता है body language जब low होता है तो हम लोग थोड़ा सा बॉडी को थोड़ा हीट ऐसे ऐसे कर सकते हैं पूरा एकदम मतलब स्पीड करके यस यस आई कैन डू आई कैन स्पीक नो इशू तो जैसे ही अगर हम इस इस बॉडी लैंग्वेज में जाएंगे जैसे ही हम हम इस बॉडी लंग बॉडी को थोड़ा सेक करेंगे और जब बोलेंगे यस आई कैन डू इट नो इशू आई कैन डू इट आई कैन आई कैन ओनली डू इट देन वी सा द इफेक्ट दैट कि हम खुद को थोड़ा सा स्ट्रांग महसूस करेंगे थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाएगा तो वो जो चेंज रिएक्शन था वो अपने आप ब्रेक हो जाएगा और फिर वी 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 कैन टॉक इन द बेटर वे मेनली हमारा जब जब मेंटल माइंडसेट अच्छा हो जाएगा तो एक एक अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस रहेगा इवन दो अगर हम स्टटर होते भी हैं तो कोई बात नहीं है स्टटरिंग को तो एक्सेप्ट करना ही है नो इशू लेकिन ये चीज आपको एक मजबूती प्रदान करेगा और एक आपको एक ताकत देगा कॉन्फिडेंस डेवलप करेगा जो एक इनकम्पिटेंट की जो भावना है जो एक एवॉयडेंस की जो भावना है जो मन में डर की जो भावना है 
उसको ये ज्यादा आपको पुष्टअप का, का, का उससे निकलने में काफी ज्यादा मदद करेगा ये राइट कमिंग ऑन दी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड जस्ट दिस इज ए मेंटल गेम राइट व्हाट इज इन दिस यू कैन सी कि ये कैसा मेंटल गेम है जस्ट ट्राई वन थिंग हम अपने जनरल लाइफ में क्या होता है कि हाथी से या फिर कोई भी ऐसा बड़ा चीज है uh, हमको उससे डर लगता है हम सभी को उस चीज से uh, मन में डर पैदा होता है राइट right? और अगर आपको बोला जाए कि हाथी के पास जाके आप खड़ा हो जी आई थिंक यू वेरी मच अफ्रेड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ अस अफ्रेड एटी टू नाइनटी परसेंट पीपल कैन नॉट गो नियर टू दी एलिफेंट बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट एलिफेंट कैन हार्म हिम लेकिन बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द डॉग देन वॉट एपेंड हम लोग डॉग के साथ फैमिलियर हैं हमें पता है कि डॉग कुछ नहीं करेगा आ, तो डॉग थोड़ा देखने में भी छोटा होता है इन द रियल तो वहाँ उसके साथ हम खेल भी लेते हैं या फिर अगर नॉर्मल भी है तो वी कैन बी हैव इन द नॉर्मल वे बट सी दफेक्ट हियर जस्ट जस्ट क्लोज योर आईज एंड जस्ट इन लार्ज द इमेज ऑफ द डॉग इनलार्ज इस आप इमेज को जो डॉग का जो पिक्चर में देखते हैं उससे कहीं ज्यादा बड़ा करके उसको आप देखें और एलिफेंट का जो आप लाइफ में जो आप एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं छोटा छोटा कर दें एकदम स्मॉल कर दें इमेज को चीटी के समान बना दें एलिफेंट को और डॉग डॉग को हाथी से भी बड़ा बना दें और ये आंख बंद करके थोड़ा करके देखें देर आफ्टर आपको देखिएगा कि आपको हाथी से कम डर लगने लगेगा और डॉग से आपको ज्यादा डर लगना चालू हो जाएगा एंड व्हाट इज दिस डी दिस इज ए नथिंग बट इट इज ए इमेज परसेप्शन हमारा जो माइंड है ना वो परसेप्शन को समझता है वो इमेज को समझता है समझता है रियलिटी अगर रियलिटी को अगर हम अगर बदल के अगर माइंड को अगर हम सेंड करें उस परसेप्शन को अगर हम सेंड करें तो हमारा माइंड उस इमेज को लेता है जो जिस इमेज को अपने माइंड को हम भेजते हैं तो ये एक्टिविटी थोड़ा आप कीजिएगा कभी फ्री टाइम मिले या फिर अभी मिले तो आप आप इसका इफेक्ट थोड़ा देख सकते हैं क्या होता है कि आपको हाथी से आ, कम डर लगेगा उस समय तक आपके बॉडी में कुछ सेंसेशन होंगे एंड वही अगर डॉग का साइज अगर बहुत बड़ा है तो आपको डॉग से डर ज्यादा लगेगा कमिंग ऑन दिस इमेज ऑल्सो इन दिस इन दिस इमेज द सेम थिंग मेनी पीपल आर वेरी फैमिलियर विद द कैट एंड लाइन लाइन यू कैन प्ले विद द कैट आप बिल्ली के साथ खेल सकते हैं बिल्ली आएगी तो आप उसको भगा सकते हैं जनरली आदमी जब कोई जब जब भी बिल्ली आती है तो तो वाट हैपन कि हम लोग कुछ ऐसा कुछ बजा दिए तो वो इट्स जैसे कि भाग जाएगी वहाँ से बट वी गेट अफ्रेड ऑफ गोइंग टू द लाइन अगर शेर के पास जाने के लिए बोला जाए तो कोई भी नहीं जाएगा आई एस सी और यू आई माई सेल्फ ऑल्सो नॉट गो और हमें इनसे डर लगता है जी सो जस्ट सी दैट इन दिस यू जस्ट डिमिनिश द इमेज ऑफ द लायन बाई क्लोजिंग यूर आई आई एंड जस्ट इन लार्ज द इमेज ऑफ द कैट आप कैट के इमेज को कर दे बहुत बड़ा जितना बड़ा हो सकता है आप इमेजिन कर सकते हैं और लाइन के इमेज को एकदम छोटा कर दे और उसके बाद आप देखें कि आपके अंदर कैसी सेंसेशन होती है देर आफ्टर आई यू यू ट्राई टू सी कि व्हाट इज हैपनिंग विद यू 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 आई थिंक यू फेल्ट दिस कि आपको कैट से ज्यादा थोड़ा डर लगेगा उस वक्त लाइन के तुलना में राइट right? 
तो आप इसे मतलब ट्राई क्या क्या करें और और इसका जो इफेक्ट है उसको देखने की सब कोशिश करें कमिंग ऑन दिस वेन यू स्टटर जब हम स्टटरिंग करते हैं तो व्हाट इज सिचुएशन मेंटल इमेज जस्ट अबाउट जस्ट फ्यू सेकंड है वो अब ये दुकानदार वाला है और हमें जाना है इससे कुछ सामान लेने हम क्या करेंगे कि यार अपना इमेज को छोटा कर लेते हैं और बहुत बड़ा है और कहीं स्टर कर गया तो क्या सोचेगा फिर उसके बाद चेंज एक्शन स्टार्ट हो जाते हैं लेकिन Uh, I think uh, guys has yes, uh, 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 lost his connection. I think Prince. So we'll uh, uh, just wait for uh, two more minutes for him to join back. I think he has joined back. Uh, sorry for Prince, the uh, interruption. Can you hear us now? Are you audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm audible. Okay, Captain. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Use two ads left here. Just one, one to two minute or I think. Yeah, we are. Uh, in this slide hum log is slide pe the abhi and sorry for the disruption because internet thoda sa weak hua tha but i come back to jab hum stutter kaise ko hum bada karke dekh rahe hote hain aur khud ko soch chhota karke samjhe dekh rahe hote hain ab aate hain in last this is a last slide and isme kya hai ki we try a one more the same thing usi mental image game ko hum try karenge jaisa ki humne pehle discuss kiya hai अब यहाँ पे करना क्या है कि अपने आप क्या जो अपना जो इमेज है उसको मतलब बड़ा करके देखना है काफी ज्यादा बड़ा करके देखना है और ये जो दुकानदार वाला है इसको छोटा बहुत बहुत छोटा एकदम कर देना है तो यू सी द इफेक्ट डेट कि आप काफी ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस हो जाएंगे और एक एक अंदर से एक ताकत मिलेगी यू माइट फील इसको हम एन और ए न्यूरो टेक्निक भी बोलते हैं इन सारी चीजों को जो मेंटल इमेज के बारे में मैंने बात की तो यू साद इफेक्ट है यू ओनली द इन इन लार्ज एंड कलर योर पिक्चर सी द इफेक्ट सो दिस इज द लास्ट स्लाइड एंड अपने आप को इन साइड टेक्निक्स को थोड़ा लेके जाइए देखिए क्या होता है एंड आई 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 एस योर दैट की थोड़ा सा एक अंदर से कॉन्फिडेंस भी आएगा ताकत तो महसूस महसूस होगी और जैसे ही हमारे अंदर कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाएगा ना तो स्पीच अपने आप अच्छा हो जाएगा जो हिडन जो पार्ट के बारे में जो मैंने बात किया था वो अपने आप जैसे ही डिमिनिश होगा जैसे ही वो क्लैप्स होगा तो स्ट्रक्चरिंग का जो ऊपर का जो विजुअल पार्ट है वो इट्स अपने आप कोलेप्स हो जाएगा सो अल्टीमेट थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू इतनी पेशेंस के साथ सुनने के लिए आप सभी को धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रिंस फॉर दिस ऑसम सेशन इट वॉज रियली ऑसम एंड इट वॉज आई थिंक ग्रेट लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर ऑल ऑफ एस सो गाइस Do you have any uh, questions for for for, uh, uh, for uh, Prince? Any uh, questions? Hey, Abka. I think uh, Arun has some question to ask. Arun, Ambagat. Hello. Yes, Arun. Ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Please ask a question. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, 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 sir. Yeah. मेरा क्वेश्चन यह था कि जैसा कि इन्होंने कहा था कि हमें जब कोई भी मेंटल ब्लॉक है जाता है तो उस दौरान हमें ऐसा क्या करना चाहिए कि हम उस मतलब उस दौरान उससे निकल सकें या फिर उसको तो मतलब क्योंकि हम कई बार तकनीकों को अप्लाई करते हैं लेकिन वो उस दौरान कार्य नहीं करती हैं किसी भी कारण से 
तो उस दौरान हम ऐसा क्या करें कि उस ब्लॉक से बाहर निकल सके एट फर्स्ट देखिए स्टार्टिंग में थोड़ी इशू होंगी स्टार्टिंग में थोड़ी इशू होंगी स्टार्टिंग में आप टेक्निक्स को अप्लाई करेंगे और आपको रिजल्ट देखने को नहीं भी मिल सकते हैं आई एस और दिस बट जैसे ही आप पांच छह बार जब आप ट्राई कीजिएगा तो आपको रिजल्ट देखने को मिलेगा श्योर sure मिलेगा अब उस मेंटल ब्लॉक को कैसे हटाना है तो वेन एवर यू सी द मेंटल ब्लॉक आप थोड़ा सा काम हो जाइए जस्ट काम डाउन योर ब्रीदिंग काम डाउन योर वॉकिंग स्पीड एंड देर आफ्टर ट्राई टू चेंज योर मेंटल इमेज वट एवर आई टॉक इन द प्रेजेंटेशन आप उस मेंटल इमेज को थोड़ा सा इधर उधर करने का कोशिश कीजिए एंड तब जा करके आप कम्युनिकेट करना थोड़ा स्टार्ट कीजिए आई थिंक कि एक दो बार दिक्कत होगी हो सकता है पांच छह बार दिक्कत हो उसके बाद ये काम करेगा और ऐसा भी होता है कि जब आपने बहुत बार ट्राई कर लिया तो कभी कभी ये नहीं भी काम करता है वो बहुत ही सडनली होता है एक दो बार होता है जब हमारा एंजाइटी स्टेट जब काफी ज्यादा हाई हो होता है हाँ तो अगर उसमें अगर स्टर्टिंग आ रही है तो आने दीजिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है बट दिस टेक्निक विल हेल्प यू टू जस्ट गेट आउट फ्रॉम दिंग थोड़ा सा काम डाउन कीजिए थोड़ा सा सांस को सही कीजिए रिलैक्स रखिए दैट विल द गुड ओके थैंक यू किसी और के पास कुछ है सवाल है जो आपको प्रिंस से पूछना है एनीवन एल्स हैज एनी हैज एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस टू आस्क टू प्रिंस जो जो लास्ट सवाल पूछा था उसमें आई आई वांट टू ऐड वन थिंग ये दे अलाउड है तो अदरवाइज हां हां विकास प्लीज प्लीज या या थैंक्स सर सो 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 यू नो जो जो मैंने देखा है एक मतलब यू नो जो प्रिंस ने बोला और जो पूरा कुछ बताया दैट दैट वाज रियली ग्रेट एंड उससे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला और पीछे का थ्योरी क्या क्या है वो मालूम चला तो आपके जो आ, आपने सवाल आ, पूछा तो उस उसके लिए एक चीज ये वाला बो, बोलना बोलना चाहूंगा Uh, जो कि मैंने देखा है कि यू you नो know, यदि आपने छोटे से शुरुआत किया ना कि मान लो आपने सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप मीटिंग्स में जाना शुरू किया पहले और जो टेक्निक आप सोच रहे हो वो सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप मीटिंग में चाहे फिजिकल मीटिंग हो चाहे ऑनलाइन हो वहां पर दो तीन महीने तक यूज किया तो क्या होगा कि वहां पे ऐसे रहता है कि सभी लोगों को स्टैमर है देन वी कैन फ्रीली डो इट तो जैसा कि प्रिंस ने भी बोला था ना कि माइंड को सीखने में थोड़ा टाइम जाएगा और यदि सेफ स्पेस में सीखना ईजी होगा और जैसे उसमें अपना हाथ जगन्नाथ बुक में भी ये दिया हुआ है कि आप यूं भी शुरू कर सकते हो कि आपके पास कोई एक डॉग है तो डॉग के साथ शुरुआत किया और यदि आपका कोई बहुत खास दोस्त है बहुत खास दोस्त के दोस्त के साथ शुरुआत किया लेकिन जो मैंने मेरे साथ देखा था वो ये था कि सभी के साथ करने में प्रॉब्लम ही होती थी यदि मैं कोई दोस्त दोस्त भी बोलूँ तो दोस्त के साथ भी जैसे बोलते आए हैं तो वैसे ही बोलेंगे चेंज करने से तो थोड़ा ओल्ड सा फील होगा कि ये क्या है बट जब आप सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप मीटिंग में पहुँच गए ना तो वहाँ जैसा हक लाना है ना जितना वियर्ड फेस बनाना है जितना खुल के हक लाना और जैसी प्रैक्टिस करनी है वी कैन फ्रीली डो इट तो मेरा एक ये व्यू ये है कि आप ऐसा एक फिक्स गोल बना लोगे ना कि नेक्स्ट चार महीने तक सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप मीटिंग में मुझे जाना है चाहे वो वाया जूम हो लो हैंग आउट हो या फिजिकल हो और चार महीने तक मुझे ऐसे बोलना है तो वो शायद ईजी ईजी होगा और फिर आप ये भी दे देख पाओगे कि फिजिकली आप किसी और प्लेस पे गए हो वहां भी चेंज लाना इजी होगा उसके बाद ओके विकास थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर फॉर योर एडेड वैल्यू एनी वन एल्स एनी अदर क्वेश्चन शो आस्क I think uh, okay, Prince. Then thank you so much for your uh, 
for your uh, wonderful and uh, very innovative session to all of us so uh, guys abhi we are uh, going to have a uh, lunch break from 1 pm to 2 pm okay 2 baje we can join back okay sir very very थैंक यू सर टू गिविंग मी चांस एंड आप सभी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद इतने पेशेंस के साथ सुनने के लिए ओके थैंक यू ओके प्रिंस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू गाइस यू कैन कम बैक एट टू पी एम आफ्टर द लंच ब्रेक ओके सर